Welcome, fellow geeks, to our special episode tonight. Uh, typically, Tuesdays, as you know, is Fall of Plague Stone, but that was canceled. But instead of having no content, Bill here came to the rescue and is providing us with some awesome content tonight. And we've got some awesome special guests with us. Uh, so we're going to be playing Gateways, which is a very awesome game. And I'm not going to say too much about it because I'm going to let Bill talk about it in a second. Uh, but before we get to that, let's introduce the rest of our cast. We've got some new faces on here that we're very excited about. Uh, B, why don't you tell us about yourself? Uh, hello, hello. I am your non-binary busy B. You can find me on Twitter as at B underscore Zelda. I am a podcaster. I play D&D &D sometimes. I host Anime Attaché, where I teach people who've never seen anime all about season one of My Hero Academia. I am a player on Power Play, and I stream almost every day of the week. <laughs> Very cool. That's awesome. My Hero Academia is a great starter. Literally the best. Yeah, the best. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Matt, tell us about you. Oh, hi, I'm Matt Yule, and uh, my brother Chris and I do a podcast called Finish It, where we read interactive fiction, uh, mostly choose your own adventures, but other things also. We treat it once a week, and then we get together, and we talk about it. We do that over and over and over and over and over and over until we read every single page and get all the endings of the book, to conquer the book, and lose our minds, and it's it's goofy, and it's uh, at Finish It Pod on uh, Twitter if you think that listening to two people torture themselves sounds fun. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Glad to have you guys on here. Uh, me and Tori, uh, if you guys are watchers of this channel, you probably know us. Uh, we are part of Level One Geek. Uh, Tori, is there anything special you want to say about yourself tonight? Any deep Just that we, we're going to have a really cool guest. Um, so we are sad that do, I don't know if you I don't know if that matters. <laughs> uh, true. Anything, yes. If you saw our social her. media, yeah. If you saw our social media post, we were gonna have PG Law on here, but she unfortunately had something come up, so we'll have to catch her another time. Yes. Uh, so, so I'm Tori's filling in for her tonight. We love Tori, so it's great. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And for our GM of the evening, uh, Bill, tell us about you, and then why don't you just take it away from here and tell us all about this game. Uh, hey, I'm Bill. Uh, I'm from Escape This Podcast, where we make new audio escape rooms every fortnight and have people come on and play them. And uh, it's a great show. And I've talked about it a lot here on this channel. Uh, I'm also part of the uh, Fall of Plague Stone uh, uh, Let's Play. So that's been lots of fun. I'm also going to be part of Tabletop Treasure Hunters when that starts up a little bit later. Um, and also My Hero Academia. Very good. And, the, and, and, and it's also a clear thing to when you compare it to like Demon Slayer, because Demon Slayer tries to like, just assume that you've watched enough Shonen anime yeah. and be like, you know, we, you've, we've like, they've earned you all of our moments. Tropes. We'll just pay them off. We'll mm -hmm. just pay off the training arc that you saw in Naruto. Whereas, right. <laughs> whereas My Hero Academia earns its moments. Bill, you are like uh, unknowingly <laughs> supporting an argument I'm in the middle of right now. Oh, Demon <laughs> Slayer doesn't earn any of its moments. It's paying off other shows that it's relying on you to have seen. I love it for what it does, but it still does not do enough on its own, you know? Like you go yeah. into meeting those you characters You introduce me to the awful. big bad guy and I'm like, I don't know who this is yet and I don't care. And they're like, oh, but look at this. But oh, he's turning other know. people. I don't care. Oh, okay, you see that, the way he looks at you? Mm -hmm. Doesn't it remind Classic. you of the Sharing Gun? <laughs> uh, so I've made a game that has nothing to do with either of these things. Um, so this is a game uh, that I wrote. Uh, I published it at the start of the year, um, uh, and it is called Gateways. Uh, you can get it on my uh, itch.io page, which I should probably have set up a link to to post in this chat, but I haven't. I'll do it at some point. Um, but it's a really silly little game. It's good fun. Uh, and the basic premise is that a group of people are using uh, interdimensional portals to try and pull off a heist. Every game, you have a tool that lets you make strange gateways that allow you to teleport around. Uh, you have a treasure that you are looking for. Each of the players will have their own talents, weird things that they can do that nobody else can do uh, during the mission. And there is the tension. There are the guards or the lava that's slowly rising from the floor or the 
a bomb that's going to go off. I don't know. We don't know what it's going to be because we are going to work out all of those elements live right now, uh, which some people could say it's because we're lazy and didn't prep, but some people would say it's because we want to give you the full experience of what playing a game of gateways is like. And that's what I'll say. Uh, and so I don't know if we need to do a huge amount more before we start getting into that. We might be able to just start those discussions now, unless there's any more admin to do. I think that's uh, it. Unless, well, unless anybody else has anything. I don't know. Who do you think would win in a fight? Uh, Rock Lee? Mm. Or... Yeah. Or the uh, dude with the tail from My Hero Academia? Rock Lee. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. What <laughs> kind of show would it be if Rock Lee just beat the guy with the tail up? The guy with the tail wins, and it becomes a whole new narrative arc for Rock Lee. <laughs> of course, of course, his development becoming the strongest. And yeah. Rock Lee doesn't need any more development. He's fine mm. as he is. He could just go around <laughs> being real strong. <laughs> we need a One Punch Man spin-off that's just Rock Lee walking around being like, "No, I'm very good at my job." <laughs> he goes bald, you know. That'll be it. Yeah. He'll replace Saitama. All right, now that that admin has been taken care of, mm. uh, we should be able to get into the game. Uh, so uh, we have these decisions that we need to make, uh, which I already laid out, so I don't know why I'm saying them again. Uh, oh, and also for people, uh, you can see below me, right below my face, these are the dice that we'll need to play throughout the game. Uh, there are three D6s, which will be rolled either one, two, or three as we play. Uh, should we do the rules before we do the world creation? Why don't we do that? Perhaps. Yeah, yeah let's do Only the rules. Only for a reminder for myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, I, like I definitely know the rules, but just, you know, for Chad and exactly. like everyone so, doesn't know, yeah. <laughs> so the, the rules here are fairly simple. At any point, uh, the, the only roles that you make in this game are to use your gateway tool to make portals. Your characters can do anything else they want. You want them to do a triple backflip down the stairs, they've done the triple backflip. You don't need to roll for dexterity. But the rule is you can only solve your problems with portals. And so that is what you need to do. At any point, you can set your tool of choice to three different levels. And each level is represented by that number of D6 that you roll. If you roll a single D6, you are using your portal device at level one, which just lets you make a hole in something. It doesn't connect to anything else. You're basically just tunneling out, tunneling out a little hole that you could step through. Uh, and that is the level one usage of any of your tools. No matter what the flavoring of them, that's how they work at level one. At level two, when you're rolling 2d6, you can make two portals appear. One on a surface that you can see and another on any other surface that you can see. You can then step into one portal, step out the other, much like the game portal. Uh, and then if you want to operate at level three and use all three of the D6 that you can see below me, uh, you will be using it to make one portal in front of you and the other portal will, will appear anywhere that you have been before. Uh, anywhere that you've seen or been, you can make that portal appear and jump through this and appear all the way over there. The reason it gets riskier is at any point, if any of the dice that you roll doesn't, one, two, or three, if any of the dice that you are rolling turns up with a six, that's a six, uh, your portal will still appear. However, things will go poorly for you. On any time you have a six thing, the tension, if that's the guards, if it's rising lava, if it's whatever it is, it benefits your plan somehow helps them rather than yourself. So things will go wrong. If at any point, any of the D6 that you roll turn into a one, and by turn into, I mean, come up a one, uh, your portal malfunctions. These are interdimensional gateways and they have issues sometimes. And if that happens, that's when we roll the D20 that you can see below me uh, to figure out exactly how it goes wrong. And they can go from anywhere. In fact, do we have that available as like a little thing that people can see for a second? I don't know how much we need to hide it, but it might be able to make it appear on stream. Um, but they can go from can anywhere that up there. Uh, from as, as ridiculous as you step out of your gateway and find yourself in a completely separate dimension 
and now your new your your own personal treasure changes to find a way home. Uh, or it could be something as simple as number six, which is, but she's got a new hat, which is you come out of the portal with a new hat. <laughs> so they can be a bit weird uh, and they can be a bit wonderful. And that can happen at any point. Again, that doesn't necessarily mean you fail. If you just roll some ones, you might still get out of the portal fine. We'll have to find out exactly how it goes wrong. Uh, and that is the situation that we're in. That's how you play the game of gateways. All right, with that out of the way, we should play the game of gateways. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so. Do you have to do like a GLaDOS post when you talk to us now? Like, is mm. that, do you initiate mm. that? Nah, no. Can we get, nah. no. Do we get that's, that's, a, that's illegal. This? Yeah, is yeah. there a cake at the end of this though? I think that's what I signed up for. Yes, there's okay. definitely cake. Great, <laughs> I heard I'm cake. in. Yeah, I don't believe in lies. All right, so the first step uh, <laughs> is that we need to create our tool. We need to figure out what it is that we are using to make gateways appear. Now, there's a little table that we can use for that if we'd like, uh, in which you can roll a d6, and that gives you six uh, options, which we'll have therefore randomly generated, which will be, this is the tool that we use. We can start with that, or if anyone is looking at that table and thinks they have a one that they like, feel free to jump in and say, oh, I really wish we could use this. And if you have another option for how you might make gateways that is not in that table, you can do that as well. You don't have to choose one. Should we so read these out to the uh, to the chat, Bill, so people know what we're working with here? You know what, Chase? Why don't you read them out? To <laughs> I would love to read these out. Wow, so wow, we've totally. got oh. a futuristic handheld gateway cannon, an ancient mystical tome holding the secrets of teleportation, a portable hole folded up in your pocket, magical chalk used for drawing gateways on walls, a computer interface that warps the coding of the cyberverse, or a bargain with a supernatural entity, demon, genie, etc. Mm. So those are the preset options. I don't know if any of those uh, speak to anybody here. I will say the only reason there's the option to have a portable fold up hole it's because as a child i really loved the beatles yellow submarine movie um <laughs> oh i was thinking roger rabbit yeah roger rabbit the tune uh, yeah i that's also RPG. roger rabbit i think it's like, that's like portable a cartoon hole. classic though right yeah like portable absolutely hole. we could just be a bunch of cartoon characters running around <laughs> oh, portable holes boysies. in our pocket i'm very could, interested in that <laughs> if you like the idea of being cartoon characters that, for me, hole. it was either that or the chalk because I loved chalk zone when I was a kid. <laughs> awesome. See, I went yes. to rhythmatist. Like, I love the whole rhythmatist <laughs> concept with chalk. But I think cartoon characters is my personal first choice. That does sound pretty entertaining. Are we happy with this idea? Ah. Yes. All right. Well, we don't need to roll. If we had rolled. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, wait, I can roll this to make sure that everybody can see dice roll. Yeah, uh, sure. If we had rolled, let's roll this leftmost die. Well, we would have had four, which is oh, the magical oh, chalk. chalk. Oh, That's the chalk zone off. roll. But but it looks like we're going for number three, uh, which is a portable hole folded up in your pocket. Yes. Uh, so how do we, like so so we're all cartoon characters in this world. Is that those years weren't there before? I looked away for a second. Uh, um, cartoon character. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. Oh, now for I it. need to find wow. something. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So that's now we have like a theme and we have a, 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 a genre, a genre of our, uh, of, of our gameplay. We were all cartoon characters. Uh, and you have little portable holes, take them out, unfold them, chuck them on a wall. They stick and you can step through or maybe come out somewhere else. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. the form that our gateways will take in this game. Now, as we keep coming up with the rest of this, we can already start thinking about who your characters are and what they do, and, uh, and and part of that is the next question, which is we need to figure out the treasure. So that is, what are we doing? What's, what, what do we do with these balls? We know how they work. What's happened? Has has someone gone missing? Has something been stolen? Do we, are, are you, do we just want to steal money? Are we, you know, what, what question, is it that we're like, trying to get? Yeah, what do cartoon characters want? What do cartoon characters <laughs> want? Take. 
cake. Cake? Yeah, we've established that. <laughs> or pie. Pie makes you float through the air when it smells mm-hmm. really good. Mm-hmm. Follow the, the, the scent <laughs> waves. The scent trails are quite magical. <laughs> Perfect. Or perhaps it's, a, yeah, just a, looking for food. a magical pencil that can erase your enemies. Oh, Ooh, that's a classic. That's, pretty that's good. also yeah. a little dark. Or our creator. <laughs> Maybe we're looking for our creator. We're trying to get into the real world. <laughs> we're self. Yeah, we're trying to get in the real world. We're trying you to. Do want to try and get into the real to cool world? world? This thing. Yeah, I like that. All right. So, all right. So, <laughs> meet our creator. How, <laughs> so, how, what's what, how do we get into the real world? What is it that will allow you to move from the tune world into the real world? Is there like a final portal or something? Could yeah, be. there's we like need... a photorealistic portal that we need to walk <laughs> just through. A real <laughs> door. Yeah. Just a real door. <laughs> yeah, door. it's a real door. Very yeah, 3D. Real door. Very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, we need some third dimensional thing. Uh, so, all right, we're looking for the only real door in the Toon world. <laughs> there is a single <laughs> real door. Uh, do we know where that is? Is there like... Ah, the door is kept in the secret door facility where they manufacture all the doors. Or is it like, where's this? Do you know where it is? You've, you've got to, you know, you've, you're planning a heist. You're planning to how, and how to get this door. Do we know where it is? Is it a known thing? Is it a myth? I like the idea of it being a myth. Yeah, I feel like it should be a myth. I like yeah. Like We've heard about this that. door, this three-dimensional door that only appears uh the blood moon on a Tuesday night, you know? Woo. Very strange and specific details that don't make any sense. You know, you have to have eaten cheese two days before if you want to witness <laughs> this door. <laughs> All right. So we're trying to find this mythical, real physical door. Uh and you've done all your prep. You've Eight you've eaten cheese. the cheese. Yep. You, you're waiting. It's now the the first Tuesday of the month, and there's a blood moon. Wait, does that make sense? No, I'm thinking of a blue moon. That's fine. Blood moons can be whenever they want. Same whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is cartoon saying, world. Okay. Just, that's true. You just, you just, <laughs> someone just needs to get a big red pencil and go over the moon, and you're fine. Exactly. There we go. Uh, so, and so now, now we need to think about where exactly that is. What's like? Do you? Where do the where do the legends say you can find this door? Will it have just appeared somewhere in town? Are we aware of like are we like fully self aware cartoons? Like, <laughs> I'd say we have to be. Genre? We're looking for our creator. Like, is this you door a different genre? Are we going from like yeah. Looney That's Tunes to anime world? Like oh. the um yeah. the vile billionaire. Stingy O Snake has reportedly found a way to conjure the door in his giant vault. And he's keeping it there for himself and he goes through to be a regular snake and just kind of snake around and then come back. So we're gonna break into just the house of Stingy O Snake. Just now I have a question mansion. about the huge mansion. I have yeah. a quick question about Stingy O Snake. Yeah. Is he an Italian snake called Stingy O or is he an Irish snake called Stingy O Snake? His middle name is Oscar. Oh, okay. Sorry, I apologize. So is he more like, um, like a mob boss kind of snake? <laughs> the only people who've ever asked that question disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, probably. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. Maybe cool. Just, it's old money. Yeah. No, he's mob. Yeah, he's mafia. You can be old mafia. money mafia. Old money mafia. Snake. Old money mafia. Yeah, they haven't done a lot recently, but <laughs> yeah. they're still like living the lifestyle. <laughs> All right, so the the rituals have been done, but they've also been done by old money mafia boss Stingy O Snake, <laughs> who has usurped the door and has hidden it somewhere in his large snaky abode. And your goal is to go and find it to get yourself into the real world. This I is a, a normal game. I have a game. proposal, if that's okay, please. Bill. Yes, please. Um, well, actually, it's Hexeter's proposal from chat that I think is kind of cool. <laughs> Perhaps we became self-aware because uh, Hexeter suggested every television screen is actually a window that we can see through, but we've never been able to get through. Maybe this was a recent <laughs> development that we realized we could see this other place <laughs> through these windows and we want to get there. 
<laughs> like cartoons, they just watch like real people on TV and they don't even know that real, <laughs> like, that's yeah, not like, that's fake. Thing. That's that's mm. crazy. That blew my mind. I'm not even a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are now. No, there I you am. are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you've become aware oh. of the fact that you're tunes because you have noticed that you can see through your TVs or through windows, just like normal every I think window. windows. I think random windows like suddenly get this picture in them of the real and world. And that's when people Whoa, are watching you. Cool. <clears throat> yeah. And then one day you turned and you, because you <laughs> never, like, wait a minute. Because cartoons never look into the camera. So you've never right. really looked into the window. You had your one moment where you stared straight at the window and you went, oh, oh my God, there's a person there. <laughs> <laughs> and they're 3D. Somebody had a very confusing cartoon that day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you've, that's what started your research. And now you've uh, decided to find this doorway that will let you step through into that world that you've only seen through the windows of your mind. Mm -hmm. um, all right, wonderful. So that's two steps out of four down. We have our uh, tool and we have our treasure. And now we need to know everybody's talents. Mm. There's one here that is actually very much set up already for a tuned world, but we'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> So the talents are the things that you can do as your individual player. So whatever B's talent is, is something that only B's character can do. Uh, if you're playing this game, the smaller group with one person or maybe two people, depending on how you want to, you might give people multiple talents just so you have a bit more spread over fun things that you can do. Uh, but uh, does somebody want to, B, do you want to read out what this list of possible talents is? Uh, yeah, we've got some good options. We have double agent. Chaos Wrangler, Forager, Mastermind, Engineer, and my personal favorite, Coyote. Yes. So, uh, again, if one of these sticks out, you can pick one. Otherwise, we can go in order and just roll a die and take one at random and, and use that as your... Do people want to roll for their random uh, I would rolls? like to roll randomly. Roll yes, for your for roll? Sure. Yeah, we haven't yeah. done that yet. All right, well, Matt, why yep. don't you take control of the dice? And uh, roll to see what you get. Okay, I'm gonna roll this dice. Die. Uh, I got five. I'm an engineer. That means twice per game, I may lower the number of dice rolled for a level two or level three action by one, which is very cool. Yeah. So at any point when you want to use your your magical <laughs> pocket hole uh, for uh, to teleport from one point to another, you would only need to roll one die. If you want to use it to teleport somewhere you've been before. You don't even need to roll two die. And I guarantee you, when I do it, all sixes. All, <laughs> all sixes, sixes, no matter you what. You'll roll one die, it'll somehow be a I six promise. and a one at the same oh, time. Yes. Yep, yep, oh, yes. Which does sometimes happen. Um, well, we'll find out, I guess. Six what, and a one we'll is where things go wrong, and it definitely happens. goes wrong. <laughs> uh, it goes wrong for you and well for somebody else. Um, ah. Ah. All right. Uh, Tori, do you want to roll for a roll? Yes. No, I, I like Rolling that. the middle one. Roll. Oh, I rolled the 20 also. Sorry. But you also rolled the one, so that's okay. <laughs> wow, oh, I so got that... a one and a 20. Not Whoa. that the 20 so, matters, but anyway. So the one, the one makes you a double agent. Well, that means once per game, I can counteract the raising of tension. Instead, describe how the source of tension aids the players. Nice. Yes. So in this case, uh, when a six is rolled, instead of things going poorly for you, <laughs> things will still go well for you based on the fact that you are a double agent. So presumably, you are one of Stingy O Snake's <laughs> goons, oh, my goons, right? You're, you're, you must be, you're an inside tune. Or maybe I'm uh, trying to, maybe I'm trying to go clean. Yeah, exactly. Oh, maybe. <laughs> but I've still got the, the inside knowledge. Yeah, they still, exactly. And, and you know, there's a chance that, you know, the guards will rush in and you'll be able to be like, hey, don't worry, hey. it's me. It's Again, me. Don't his middle name is Oscar. It. Yeah, yeah. Mid Atlantic, really <laughs> not much of a thing. <laughs> stingy Oscar Snake. Okay. Hello, um, I'm Stingy O Snake. This is how he would probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, B, do you want to have a roll? Oh yeah, let's do this. If you double up a thing, we'll just keep rolling until it's unique. I figured. Well, Ooh, that's a, a six. six. Hey, there you oh, go. Oh, good. That was your personal yeah, favorite. That's You're a coyote. What I Thank you, dice. <laughs> Thank you, blessed dice. So. This means that my tool can be used uh, to create images of gateways that don't lead anywhere. That's this does not toony. require you to roll and always succeed. So tune-like. Yes. 
<laughs> you can at any point throw your pocket hole onto a wall and it will look as if it would teleport someone somewhere or be a hole in a wall, but it will not. And they will comically smash their nose into the portal. And, oh, will... and they will have little birdies flying above. And oh, little yeah. birds Afterwards. will fly around. <laughs> Exactly. And we just have to work, hope those little birdies don't work for stingy old snake or he's going to know what we're up to. Mm. A little bird told me someone was trying to sneak in here. Again, it would be a little bird told me that someone is trying to sneak. He's just got a very, no real interesting accent. Hey, my name is just, Stingy Oscar the Snake. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Stingy Oscar. They called me a snake, but I am in fact an axolotl. Um, <laughs> of course, people don't know that. Keep it a secret, old family secret, because I'm from old family money. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Chase, do you want to make a roll? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's see what I get here. Uh, I was trying to roll the left, but it looks like it rolled multiple, so I'm going to go with the three. Sure. Uh, for, forger. Forger. Whoa. I, I have a replica of the treasure. Whoa. <laughs> Once per game to solve a problem. Okay. I feel like that'll be really useful in this one. <laughs> Very useful. Uh -huh. Also, does it mean that you're lugging around a full 3D door? Like, is it just that like you're like, oh yeah, someone here is one of those, you know, when people do those pencil drawings, they post them on Reddit and then you're just like, that's a photograph. Like, no, no, mm -hmm. it's a pencil drawing. <laughs> uh, you've got one of those, but of a door. <laughs> That is great. But it's obviously tucked away in your backpack that you if like, can yeah, pull out, you know. It's it's like, yeah, you know when thing. people draw on a single sheet of paper, but it makes it look three-dimensional? Like when they go like, oh, you thought it was 3D, and then I moved the camera. It's that. So you can just roll it out and stick it somewhere and be like, this is the door. I like that. This is the door. So, so if at any point you think that will be helpful, you can use it. Uh, but I don't think it stands up to a huge amount of scrutiny, which is why it can only be used once mm. per game. Namely, when they try to open it and it doesn't work. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Oh, just... Or they look too closely at it. You know. <laughs> Wait a minute. This isn't three D. <laughs> exactly. All right. So now we have our talents as well. Uh, and then the final question, which I feel like we've probably already answered, is what is the source of tension? What is the risk? Uh, and given that we are breaking in to the, uh, the 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 mansion and compound of stingy o snake russian oligarch um that seems like the people who work for stingy o snake and stingy o snake himself would be the uh the tension i don't know if anyone has any other interesting ideas of extra threats or ideas that they like to throw in there i have i i'm wondering if maybe there's the slight threat of breaking the cartoon world too much or like breaking the fourth wall too much like getting your race being like being performative in front of the windows because like we have to still play this off that like we don't know we're cartoons <laughs> even though we totally do <laughs> because we might get erased we could get canceled exactly like yeah you is that an additional threat that if you break the fourth <laughs> wall too oh, much yeah. the big pencil yeah. will come in it's just, <laughs> yes. it's just hard to ah <laughs> Is that the main threat? Is are you just trying to like? Is it that the person who made cartoons doesn't want you to get out to the real world? So yeah. that classic animator versus animation ah. pencil will come in and mess with things to stop you. All these oh, 3D people too. out there think we're they're watching a, a cartoon heist cartoon and it's not. It's for real. We got to make sure they remember that or we're gonna get. Stingy has his part to play. He doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have a sort of mixed tension here of both. <laughs> In, in universe, Stingy O Snake is the tension and the bad guy. And also, in a meta uh, cross universe way, you might get erased or have re things redrawn to stop you by a vengeful creator <laughs> who wishes nothing but suffering for his creation. <laughs> <laughs> that was your idea, Tori. <laughs> No, that was not my idea. <laughs> Don't you put this on me. No, I like it. It's good. All right, I'm into this. Uh-oh, Bill's muted or something. Oh, He's yeah, just we lost talking your away, muted. Am I gone? Oh, there, no, there you, you are. are. You're back. <laughs> hey. Maybe, oh, no, maybe your creator didn't want you to yeah, keep talking. they wanted to mute you. <laughs> yes. Sorry. We saw the pencil come in. 
Yeah, well, it should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> should be fine. Don't. <laughs> um, okay. Hopefully we're good. If it happens again, let me know. <laughs> all right. Okay. So I think we should be good to go. Is everybody happy? They understand. Oh no. You, you got to tell me who you are. What are you? Who are yeah. your characters? So like, when mm. do we do that part? So now I guess. Okay. Um... Yeah. You've got your role. You know what the world is. We know what we're trying to do. So, if anybody has their own idea of who they are in this toon world, are you an anthropomorphic animal of some type? Are you a cartoon person? What What's your show about? Is Stingio Snakes actually a snake? I yeah. Matt, it was your character name. What do you think? Uh, in the spirit of that character's name, I'll introduce myself. Hello, my name is Doofus Dog. <laughs> I love it. I am um, I am not fond of my name, but it was not <laughs> my choice, which is something I recently learned. I'm ah. here to uh, make a new life in a different world, uh, hopefully uh, without alerting anyone in that world to my desires. I love it. You may call like me Doofus. He... <laughs> I like I mean, that Doofus has his own... Uh clear reasons for wanting to get out of the world in which he's been typecast as a doofus. Mm, mm. <laughs> I'm still building my character. I can see, <laughs> yeah. I think I've got <laughs> this one. is getting elaborate. <laughs> I'll be playing Frederick Frogs, high class rival to Stigio Snakes. I am the one who designed the door and he stole it from me. No one can Ooh. tell me otherwise. Ooh, I love it. Frederick, Frederick Frog Z. Was there an S at the end of that? A Z. Oh, Z. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's, that's a Z. Zed, yes. <laughs> All right, so we've got Doofus Dog and Frederick Frogs, the radical <laughs> cool frog. Um, I just did a... Goofy cartoon character name generator. <laughs> I love it. I started I doing it. one of those and it was a quiz and I had to yes, fail. I did it. I did it really fast. You I, didn't even look at the, I didn't look at the answers. I just clicked and clicked and clicked. Smart, so smart. Uh, I got, <clears throat> I'll, um, hi guys, I'm Poochie, the running goldfish. <laughs> and uh, I learned how to breathe air some time ago, but I do prefer water when I get the chance. But anyway, I'm just glad to be here. I worked for a uh, Mr. Snake for a while, but I don't know. The benefits weren't great. So now I'm looking for something new. You guys seemed all right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Poochie, P-O-O-C-H-I, the running Oh, I'm fish. so sorry. I've written it down incorrectly. I'll fix that wrong also. There we go. That just leaves me. Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Hello. My name is Ears, and I can't hear a thing. I am so excited to always be a part of this episode. You know, the things that I can see are just absolutely wonderful. What's that? I can't hear oh, you. <laughs> and Ears is um unsure what they are. Um <laughs> Cat, bear, deer, something else? We're not sure. Nobody knows. The fan art is honestly an abomination. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it. And we're ready to go. We have a cast of cartoon characters in the Toon world. They will use the little folded up holes that they carry in their pockets to which they can throw on the wall to become interdimensional gateways that they will use to try and find their way into the real world they're trying to find the real physical three-dimensional door that exists and has currently been mystically summoned through the dark arts into the home of stingy o snake who wants to use it to i don't know do some crime or something what a loser uh, our four characters are Doofus Dog, played by Matt Yule, uh, 
who has the capacity to make these portals work just that little bit better. Because despite his name, he's a smart dog. Uh, we have Frederick Frogs, uh, played by Chase, uh, who has his own blueprint copy, I suppose, of the door that he claims to have designed uh, that Stingy o Snake has stolen from him. Uh, we have Poochie the Running Goldfish, <laughs> played by Tori, uh, who is a double agent who uh, Stingy o Snake still as it thinks at least a little bit is still on their side. But in fact, Poochie has their own goals. Uh, mm. And we have Ears. What? <laughs> exactly. Uh, played by <laughs> B, uh, and Ears can't hear. Uh, so that's going to be annoying. <laughs> Um, <laughs> nobody knows quite what ears is uh but the one thing we do know about ears is that they can use their portals to play practical jokes and have the uh the holes thrown on the walls look like they lead somewhere whereas in fact they are merely images and the four of these tunes are going to begin their journey uh trying to break in to the mansion of stingy o snake all right I Can I make a quick go. request of yes. Matt and Chase? Would you mind throwing your your two names up on Zoom so I remember what to call you? Oh please! Oh, I've already forgotten. Except the goldfish that might run, the the Gucci <laughs> the running goldfish. <laughs> I had it. I really did. Ah. Perfect. I, I am think... really excited for my first Zoom meeting at work tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> where I pop up is <laughs> doofus. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a blast. Uh, I love it. <laughs> uh, I'm leaving off the dog because I can't explain that. I can explain the doofus. It was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, valid is hack friend. So valid. <laughs> All right, here we go. So the four of you are outside the mansion of Stingy O Snake. You can see high above you the blood moon in the sky on this, the first Tuesday of April. Why not? Or what's a tune version of April? Uh, t t uh, April Fools. Uh, it's, so April, <laughs> it's April 1st. Yeah, April it's April 1st. 1st. The, it's the April most Fools. celebrated magical day in the Tuneverse. Yes. Yeah. So tune Christmas. Day. Out, out on the on the outskirts of town, you see fireworks going off everywhere. Uh, people are celebrating uh, because it's April Fools. But for you, you have bigger plans. You are trying to get into this mansion. Is this your first port of, port of call, or do you have some other cool plan? Do you want to come in through the through the street? Did we did we make a plan? Well, you, got, you got to look at me when you speak so I can read your lips. <laughs> Did we make a plan? Oh, Mr. Frogs, I thought you said we had a plan. I have no plan. It's just to bring this scoundrel down any way possible. The plan bring is the a good thing down? you brought. It's a good thing you brought a doofus. I do have a plan for us, and I... We lost doofus's sound. Doofus! You're talking to nothing. Can you speak up? Did we all become ears just now? <laughs> <laughs> this is from ears' point of view currently. I did look, and I love the time it was. I do have a plan. It's this. Now I'm actually talking. Is there, there anything? Go. Is it happening? Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, it says my internet connection is unstable. What is this going around? Unbelievable, unbelievable <laughs> internet. Thanks for nothing. Here's what I'm thinking. I have requisitioned for us an armored truck what i think we should do okay i'm coming up with this right now uh we are going to drive this armored truck through the gates of stingy's mansion causing quite a ruckus then i thought we could if you guys like this idea portal through the bottom of the truck portal through the floor and see where we end up Maybe yeah, I'm sure. more of a doofus than I thought. Oh, we're sure to end up somewhere more progressive going through the floor, certainly. Right? Where do we get an armored duck from? An armored truck. Oh, ears. No oh, ears. <laughs> 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 
Well, so, it is April Fool's Day. Maybe they'll just think it's a joke. Yeah, so just tell them we need it for a prank. Sounds like a plan. So the four of you arrive in your armored truck. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a slight flashback of the armored truck uh, rental person saying, oh, I understand. Everybody needs armored trucks on New Year's <laughs> Eve. Oh, and it's, it's not that, is it? That's my old little April Fool's joke. Here you go. Here are the keys. Uh, and so you now have an armored truck. You're driving down the street, heading towards this large mansion owned by Stingy O Snake. Stingy O Snake, knowing his role as cartoon villain, has placed his mansion uh, up high on a cliff face, overlooking the ocean. Lightning is striking. It wasn't striking down in town where you were, but as you get close, the clouds roll in and lightning begins to strike. The mansion itself is this large building. It goes up five or six floors of beautiful old... Uh, architecture there's columns everywhere that shouldn't really be there but you know it looks good but as you predicted the mansion itself is surrounded by an outer wall there is a gate and uh, going all the way around the grounds but you knew what you were doing when you got your armored truck and so you burst through the front gates into the courtyard you find you can hear the shouting voices of cartoon guards on the uh, by the gate going, hey, what's going on? Who's going over this? What's going on? Ah, there's a big truck. But you zoom forward until you're near the mansion itself. And at that point, you can enact your plan. Did you want to try and... Doofus, were you going to try and uh, open up a hole in the bottom of the truck? Yes. All right, in that case... I'm, I'll try that now. And that's just rolling the one, yes? Roll a single D6. This will go well. Matt you got, got a four. four. It's not a six or a one. You take the uh, folded up hole out of your pocket, drop it onto the floor of the armored truck where the four of you are all standing. And you can see the ground beneath you. The truck floor has opened up. You can jump through and reach the ground. You are all now sort of <laughs> still pretty much standing in an armored truck with your feet are <laughs> on the ground. You've flintstoned your armored truck. Uh, and that's where you are now. Um, I'm going to drop down and, uh, then like fish army crawl on my belly <laughs> under the truck. <laughs> and then I'm going to come up and I'm going to say, oh, it's okay, guys. It's just me, Poochie, the running goldfish. Uh, the boss ordered a armored truck today. So I was just bringing that, um, that is if that's okay yeah look now because we haven't actually rolled any uh failures of tension this is not using up your one roll as a uh a double agent but yeah the guards were running towards the truck go oh hey it's put a crawling goldfish uh yeah look that seems fine with me uh, i don't know why you burst through the gates though like we have protocols you could have just said hello it's Pucci, and we would have opened it but I mean, sure, you're parking it here. You're going to take it around the back to the car park. <laughs> you're all well, going to regret giving me two characters. To uh-huh. Well, uh, they don't call me the running goldfish for nothing. I don't do anything <laughs> slow. Um, oh, that's true. Good old Poochie. Yeah, that's me, Poochie. The running goldfish. So while gold this conversation fish. is happening, <laughs> are the other three of you doing any? You're now in, I believe your initial plan was to keep tunneling. Uh, I'm but creating you, a diversion. Another... Yeah, Pooch has got a great diversion here. What are you three doing? Uh, throwing down more portals. I guess we gotta. We have to go down deeper. <laughs> All right. Uh, who would like to try and go a little bit deeper into the ground? I'll give Is it a shot. So are we? Are we just digging a hole now? Now we're just digging a deep hole, or can we? Because it's why, either. Yeah. Deep why don't you guys hole... roll up, run up to the wall or something, and try to get through? That yeah, that's, that's a pretty good idea while there's <laughs> yeah. a we're just not used to running like some other people i guess is what the issue is so people are so good at running. Say, good point. the hole that you create with a portal is uh yeah. limited to only being three meters or right. 10 feet uh thick uh so if there's something that is three meters below you you'll be able to pop right down into it uh mm. if there's more earth there it's just a three meter hole yeah we're just stuck in a <laughs> hole <laughs> I'm pretty, 
I'm pretty interested in this plan of running over to the wall and seeing what 10 meters or three meters through a wall gets us rather than three meters straight down. Now that I rethink my plan. Oh, dear Doofus. Running is for people who have to work for the money. And uh, I want to try to <laughs> slap my portal on the ground and I want to teleport up to that wall. Okay. I want to try to do a Ooh. level two. You're going to do a level two portal to try and put one under your feet and the other one through, you can spy through the window of the armored truck, uh, one of the walls of the mansion itself. You're going to try to basically pop up right next to the wall of the outside of the mansion. Yeah, let's go for that. All right, roll 2d6. <laughs> yeah. It's, nothing can go wrong here. No. Nothing can go wrong. Whoop, it five did, and a one. though. It did. There's it a did. one. All right. Now, I will say for everybody <laughs> home, a five and a one means that, yes, look, there's no sixes. So it should ideally go okay for you. But the one means that the first portal that you drop goes wrong. Uh, so why don't you roll that d20 for me? Let's see where we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. Mm. That's a nat 20, which Ooh. feels bad. It feels like that's bad right now. I just feel bad. <laughs> no, no. Look, 20 oh, is okay. Whoa. Do you want to read out what happens with a 20? 20 is different. all roads. This gateway becomes a fixed point for the rest of the game. All level two or three gateways you make lead back to this point and nowhere else. That's actually great. That's not too bad. You now have an escape for it. Yeah, we so, do. <laughs> you post, so, Frederick drops his, his hole on the ground and you see Oof. the portal works. It opens up and another side opens up on the other end and you think this is wonderful. The three of you, because you are all standing in the same spot, all fall through this portal yeah. and pop out of the side of the building and land on your sides as the <laughs> shift in gravity drops you onto the, onto the ground. Frederick tries to close up his portal, but that's when you realize you can take this side off the wall, but the one under the armor truck has stayed there. It's not closing. And as you said, for the rest of the game, any time you try and make a teleporting portal, it will bring you back to the truck, no matter where you want it to go. Now it's just Frederick's level two and three just portals, right? Just Frederick's okay. portals. Pretty yeah, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna straighten my very nice tuxedo and dust it off. There, I've secured our extraction point. <laughs> Brilliant, it was all, all to plan. Uh, <laughs> Poochie, you see out of the corner of your eye as you're distracting the guards, uh, you see your three friends pop out of the wall of the of the mansion. So you know that uh, if you need to, uh, you can end this conversation and they are no longer going to be in the armored car. Well, anyway, guys, it was fun <laughs> catching up. I got to go. So I'll just take this truck around. Um, actually, let me just go. Uh over there to see the instructions about where the boss wants the truck. Uh, that, I mean, that sounds pretty innocent to me. See you later, Poochie. And then and Poochie the moves the very gate. slowly toward the wall. <laughs> so the three of you are now right next to this mansion. It raises up way above you. You know, the, the tip of the mountain covering the blood moon in the sky. Uh, you can see from where you are, there is a main door that leads into the mansion, uh, which let's, let's say it's probably probably being watched from the inside. Uh, in fact, there are two guards standing by the main door. Luckily, you've been smart with your portal placement and you are around in a little alcove so you can peer out with all your three heads, one on top of the other to see those guards, but they have yet to see you. The two guards stand in front of the main door. There are windows leading in and... Uh, and floors going up and up. There's even uh, like a whole veranda. Is a veranda a word that cross-culturally exists? Like a porch yeah, uh, like a, on yeah. the on like the third level as well, like a big long balcony. So I suppose it's a balcony um, that you can see as well. Or you can try and go around the back and find other ports of entry. It's up to you. Am I with them? Did I did I make uh, my way over? You are you are running over. I'm en route. Okay. You are en route. <laughs> I'm not did running. You, did you drive and park does... the truck, or did we just leave it crash? I le I left it because I told I told it. them that I was going over to this wall to get the instructions for where Boss wanted the truck because yeah. they were very clearly posted over there. So the, so the truck is still sitting, concealing your portal, which is a visible portal. Like if the truck moves, it will just be sitting in the middle of the floor. <laughs> right. <laughs> But it is a cartoon universe and a hole in the ground is maybe not that big a deal. 
Yeah. yeah. It's a big deal, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's a little suspicious on stingy <laughs> o snakes grounds, at least. That's true. Oh, well, That's true. Yep, yep. Uh, so what are you three doing as Poochie runs over? Walks. Poochie doesn't actually run. Oh, as Poochie. Very important. Poochie Silva has crawled and walked. It, it's a misnomer. Poochie moves quite or slowly. A mean nickname. <laughs> so, so we currently have a very smart dog named Doofus, a mm. goldfish who refuses to run called Poochie the running goldfish, mm. a deaf animal called Ears, and Frederick Frogs, whose name is completely apt. I'm detecting maybe this creator has a has a certain sense of humor. Uh-huh. Loves the ironic names. Mm-hmm. Getting a vibe for that. Uh, no, I think as Poochie runs over, um, Ears is trying to tell a bad joke. Do you want to know why I don't? I can't hear very well. It's because my ears are irreplaceable. <laughs> oh yes, that is a good one. Oh, thank you. Thank now, you. Now, where would where would one keep a door? I keep mine in a very top secret underground facility, of course, until it was stolen. What? My Stygio snakes. Actually, that's that's my theory, anyways. Oh. Yes, yeah. I don't know why, but I also thought it would likely be underground for some reason. But it's maybe right. I mean, he's got a nice balcony. Do you think he keeps it at the top of his mansion? Like some kind of weirdo? Why don't we go sit on the veranda? On the side of there. I love a good veranda. He's enticing. <laughs> it does look quite lovely. <laughs> so pretentious of Stigio. Incredibly. Mm. People who call it a veranda are also pretentious, you know? I don't know what it is. Even his storm clouds are pretentious. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Did somebody say pretentious? Are you talking about the veranda? Wow! Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, yep. You knew it. I knew you could hear us. I couldn't hear you, but I... uh, Yeah. (laughs) So what's the plan now, doofus? Uh oh. What's the plan? Dude? Here's the plan. I do have a plan this moment. Um, I am thinking maybe we could teleport ourselves up there. I'll throw a portal. Uh, I'm I'm a bit of an engineer. I can make it a little safer than usual, and uh, we just teleport right up to the top of the thing. I don't really know how making a hole in the bottom of the veranda would work, or if I'm allowed to make a hole in the top of the top of the balcony if I can't see it. So yeah, the way the, the way this works is you need to be able to see the mm. thing. so from where you are underneath, and I I call it a veranda. It's definitely a balcony. A veranda can't be a few floors up. That makes no sense. Uh, but uh, from where you are, you can see the bottom of the balcony as it juts out from the third floor. Uh, if you wanted to try and teleport straight onto it, you could probably try and get yourself somewhat of an angle to get like the the wall above it and drop a little bit down onto the balcony. Um, you could okay, so that'd be like a two dice roll. I could do a two dice roll to hit the jump up to the top there, yeah. And you'd fall maybe a few feet down onto the balcony just because the angle that you've got, but you could do that if you wanted to from where you are. I feel confident, even without using any engineering, that I could definitely make this tell this portal work for us. And we can go up, we could take in the view. Let's take in the view. Oh, yes, let's get a feel for the lay of the land. Let's see if there's any windows to peek inside and then. Oh, windows. I can't do windows again. That was too real. My eyes. It's a good point. We'll bash out the windows quietly. Oh, okay. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> All right. So I'll roll a couple dice and see about this. Uh, yeah, Everybody likes this plan a whole lot? Yeah, yeah. Dice. I think it's solid. Great. Uh, <laughs> Three and a six. All right. Oof, so uh, the presence uh, of a six means uh, that, uh, that things are going to go for the tension. Uh, so you fire your first portal straight into the side of the wall next to all yep. four of you. Uh, and the other one appears right above the balcony. And you think, wonderful. The uh, You jump in. I'm assuming everybody is stepping into this portal. That seems to oh, be yeah. the plan. Yeah, holding so hands, the, jumping in. The four of, of you holding hands. Whoop, hold hands and jump through the portal together and you land, boom, onto the balcony. Your portal was a little bit high mm. uh, to get the angle. So the fall is loud you hit mm. the balcony you can hear below you that the uh guards who are guarding the front door go what was that what was that on the balcony above me uh and they start to uh you can hear people running around downstairs uh but that's not your greatest concern your greatest concern is that you have dropped onto the balcony uh 
and there is a big glass door in front of you that leads into a room with stingy o snake sitting but at his desk and he turns to face you and he goes what what Who, who's this and you see he presses a panic button and uh mm. his desk starts zooming away <laughs> uh, <laughs> he doesn't get up the desk itself zooms off the off the, out the door and down the corridor uh everybody is on high alert now but you are on the balcony mm. Well, I guess I don't have a job anymore. (laughs) That didn't go very much as planned. Um, so how do we, how do we want to resolve this? I think we just keep pressing on. And then blow the place up? I'm not opposed to it. Not opposed (laughs) to it either. You see how pathetic his panic button was? It wasn't even jewel encrusted. I noticed his desk didn't even fly away and rolled or something. Mm-hmm. Kind of embarrassing. Can I try this glass door? Yeah, look, it's a glass door. Uh, it'll open. It's okay. locked. You, can, you know, you can kick it if you wanted to. You don't need to be that quiet now, so you can get through <laughs> this glass door portalless if you so desire. Um, I don't want to break the glass. I feel like that would be dangerous for my tender fish scales. <laughs> so I'm going to portal through. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you can just roll one die to make a Ooh, hole in the glass. Go wrong. Exactly. You pull the, you pull the uh, <laughs> folded up I, hole out of your yeah, pocket. Yeah, I, my fin, like I wiggle the, the door handle, see it's locked and then pull the, the hole out of my non-existent pocket. <laughs> All right. Roll one die. I got a four. Yeah. You got a four. Boonk. The <laughs> circle hits the glass. And it just immediately merges with it and creates a hole. And you can all step through into this main room. Who would ever use an actual door in this universe is amazing. Ridiculous. Hey, sure, every now point? and then. The, like, the, the, the doors explode and <laughs> left your hole in the other room. Yeah, but you know, it's worth it for the convenience. Um, you all step through into this main room. You can see what was until mere seconds ago, the main office of Stingy O Snake. Uh, but now that his desk has vermoosed, uh, it appears to be a room with no function. Uh, you are, <laughs> it's a big room. Uh, Stingy O Snake, if nothing else, loves opulent decor. The room is large. There are statues of tigers in the corner. Uh, there are lots of little trinkets and treasures all around. You can see on one wall, there's a, a, a series of like, little video screens that would monitor parts of the house but in his escape they have all turned off and are now no longer functional uh as you landed you could see that they were showing footage but as soon as he hit that big button he's out of there uh there is also in the corner uh a few filing cabinets full of his uh secret information uh and uh there is one large skylight that looks out into the sky and as you look at it for a second just a second you think you can see the face of a small five-year-old boy with a bowl of cereal but it disappears by the time you look at it and it's now just a normal skylight (laughs) oh i think the window did the thing again definitely did the thing oh dear my ears are shaking things just ignore it. We'll be out soon enough. Ignore what? Exactly. <laughs> oh, look, a drawer. I want to go open it. All right. Uh, go to the filing cabinet. Yeah. Uh, you head to the filing cabinet. Like all filing cabinets, it is locked. Uh, oh, wow. Well. But you do see that the outside drawers are labeled. Uh, they are labeled uh, nefarious plans. Uh, fun things to do with my money and also blueprints of my secret evil mansion. Mm. But it is, of course, a locked filing cabinet. And so, I guess game over. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This is Gateways. Uh, <laughs> Whatever um, you do here, just please don't look at my employee record. <laughs> what? That's, I said, that's personal. Don't look at my employee record. Yes, the uh, fourth the fourth drawer is labeled 
the poochie problem. (laughs) 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 Their fingers kind of like hover over the fourth drawer. Mm. And then we're going to cast our portal on the third drawer. Okay. You're going to use your portal hole? Mm -hmm. What are two Ds? What are you doing? Uh, Sixes. Uh, two is if you want to teleport from one point to another that you can see. Uh, no. For uh, just making a hole, you just roll one. Perfect. Got a five. Okay. I was so prepared for a six that you Honestly, make a same. three that you would make a three meter hole and just destroy everything <laughs> inside. <laughs> <laughs> well, instead, I didn't read your records. <laughs> but instead, you uh, managed to get your the, the kind of the level of intricacy just right, and you create a hole with your portal just thin enough to get basically rid of the front metal section of this uh, of Ooh. this uh, uh, filing cabinet. So you can reach in. This is into the blueprint drawer. Was that the idea? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> well, I would actually like to try that with the uh, fun things to do with money drawer. Just look. If you want to make a curiosity. separate one, you can. But this is going okay? to be. You can do it after. I'll do it after. <laughs> we'll, let's do this first. But uh, right, yes, ears reaches like... in and they pull out uh, a, a, a whole set of like blueprints of this mansion. You find where there are notes written to the contractor saying, "No, the desk must fly." And then they've written another <laughs> note saying, "It can only roll." I'm so sorry, boss. Uh, and all these various things. You see the different layouts, and as you all suspected, you see that underneath the mansion there are a series of subterranean tunnels that have been built all crisscrossing through and around in the mm-hmm. underground section. And there is one uh, big chamber right at the bottom of these underground tunnels that is labeled secret chamber. And then someone's crossed it out with a pencil and written perfectly normal chamber, no need to enter. Thanks. Shoot. I'll show that paper. I have found a perfectly normal chamber that there is no need to enter. Well, where do you think he keeps the door then if if we don't have anywhere to check in the basement area? That's exactly where one would keep a door. In a perfectly normal chamber? What of if course. It's just a bathroom? The doors are perfectly normal in some places. Door- here. <laughs> doors are pretty normal, that's true. <laughs> What would be weirder in a universe than something perfectly normal? I, I couldn't agree more. Oh. We're looking for normal. Doofus is the brains of this operation, and, and he agrees. That he is. That is a terrible decision, but I accept it. And you've never led us astray. Not once. <laughs> in the Quite. spirit of that, I'd like to actually see what some fun things to do with money are. Real quick. <laughs> All just right, real if quick. you'd like to throw another portal down just to try and see. Just real quick, I'll just knock this out. Yeah. No big deal. That's a two. All right. You also produce a perfectly aligned hole oh my gosh. to get reach into the uh, filing cabinet labeled th- fun things to do with money. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you pull out a hole. To- There's a huge drawer. It's packed full of files of paper and notes, uh, which are all handwritten by Stingy O Snake. You can recognize his handwriting, his mm. elegant, fluent cursive uh, that says a whole bunch of fun stuff, such as build money pit swim in money a classic uh stuff scarecrow is with money put them in Mm -hmm. town square arrest (laughs) anybody who steals from me that's what he likes doing another classic Uh, i would like to wrap them up and just keep them as leverage yeah love love it you can just keep those and do whatever you want with them do you Uh, think we should people in the chat uh for every 50 bits that you cheer we will get another fun thing to do with money there you go (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Wonderful. And then, and then we can decide what to do with your money. It's, nothing, it's, like 50 cents. it's gonna be the scarecrows it. thing. Uh all right. So uh um, you now have what does, looks like a goal. Does What's anyone wanna should do you think we should check his nefarious plans? Uh, oh, who doesn't have some nefarious plans? <laughs> I don't know if you guys oh. should be trusting this frog. <laughs> I I think it's not a terrible idea. I mean, who knows? Maybe Frederick is in on this. Maybe somebody's two timing us or dealing with uh, Frederick stingy behind our back. Uh, maybe that plan is detailed in his nefarious plans. That's true. Sure. We could have a double agent among us. Meanwhile, <laughs> uh, Doofus, you flick through a few more pages, mm. uh, and you see uh, by armored truck, 
drive it into middle of compound, it'll hmm. be hilarious. So I guess that adds some veracity to Poochie's story. And I you also down. see another piece of paper that says, make parachute out of money, <laughs> land in pile of money, sue government for unsafe parachuting laws. <laughs> make more money, repeat. Ooh. <laughs> Oh no, I want to be their friend. <laughs> um, I accidentally Sorry, I rolled two dice. I don't know why it rolled two. I was only trying to roll one, but I will be honest and say that the first one was a six on uh... this pile of, on, on his nefarious plans uh, All right. cabinet. So, <laughs> oh boy, these... you, you'd want to have one more hole that you put into the side of this thing to get into the uh, nefarious plans cabinet. But you don't really fine tune the size. You're so focused on getting it so it's not too like thick, so as to destroy all the files, that you forget to compensate at all for the actual height and size <laughs> I mean, of the I've got thing. fins, I'm not oh. very dexterous. Yeah. And so you throw it onto the side of this uh, cabinet and it doesn't hit that top drawer where the nefarious deeds are, it hits the bottom drawers and the floor. Yep. And the cabinet falls through the floor and down into a room and when you look to follow it with your eyes, you see staring back at you are the guards who were guarding the entrance, uh, who are now looking up through the hole in the floor that you accidentally made. And they say, hey, you, what are you doing there? And one of them gets onto the other person's shoulders and gets his hands on the hole that you've made and starts to pull himself up into the room that you guys are in. <laughs> what do you do? Can we drop the filing cabinet on him? It's it, a pre-dropped cabinet. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it fell. <laughs> oh, oh, right. <laughs> oh, 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 I have an idea. Mm. Um, I'm going, I, okay. Ooh, this might be dangerous. I was thinking we could push the Poochie problem cabinet through a portal that goes through the ceiling. So we drop another cabinet through the hole that we've created. Does that make sense? So yeah, it would be a level three logical. portal, right? Or no, a level two portal. No, you can do this a level two portal. It's all perfectly fine. Now we'll say the Poochie problem was in the same cabinet, but there are many other heavy things oh, around okay. this room that you could drop through a portal. There okay. are lion statues. <laughs> oh, the the statue. Poochie problem volume two? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. uh, so perhaps a lion statue you'd like to try? Yeah, but my portal's being used currently with, a, oh, that's with right. the you hole. Can... Oh, that's true. Maybe someone else should throw. Yeah. A, so I'm. Pro no, I say. Frederick's I, out. I guess I, I turn Frederick's and I. Out, wanna... I say, quick. Uh, the the statue. Who's making the roll? What? Oh, the statue. <laughs> uh, two D six. Be... Yep. Oh, ears is gonna do it. Here we go. I have a catchphrase, and I gotta. I gotta make sure I maintain it. <laughs> what the statue? <laughs> Oh yeah, I got a one. All right, you didn't get a six. Let's see what that is. Let's roll that d20 and see what goes weird with your portal. All right, oh, all right. A 15. Oh, that's okay. That's Do tell? pretty. Oh, all right, what? so this is usually fantastic. this is for people going through. We'll have to see what happens with these lion <laughs> statues. Uh, so we have rolled 15, the transporter problem, which is one goes in, but two come out. <laughs> Now, usually this would be for someone stepping through a portal. You and a copy of yourself both step out of the portal, but this copy is not your friend. Uh -huh. uh, but let's play a little bit with this. <laughs> you throw your portal onto the ground underneath the lion statue. Uh, you throw your second portal on the roof above that hole where the, uh, where the people are climbing through. And, the f and the, as the lion statue falls, it falls perfectly. It lands, it goes through the hole, through the bottom hole, hits this strange vampire voiced guard on the head and he falls uh, and he gets squashed like a little pancake. And then when it falls off to the side, he's waddling around because his feet are still normal size, but his body's <laughs> a little pancake and he's trying to move around the floor. That'll you are so happy with what happened. Until a few seconds later, when a second lion falls through the same portal, <laughs> some time temporal disturbance Matrix style. This is the deja vu where you see the black cat go past twice. The second one falls and it does not go as well as you would have hoped. <laughs> this one falls straight through and, inst and instead of hitting, going straight through the hole as the last one did, it comes out at a little bit of an angle and lands 
straight on Poochie. Ah! And now <laughs> the three of you will need to pick up this little Poochie pancake uh, from the floor. If you, and, and hopefully later on, Poochie can, can reinflate. But for the moment, Poochie, you'll be doing no running or walking for you are. Oh man, not again. I just need a little bit of water, guys. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, let me tell you, apparently, uh, five more things that you can do with money. Thanks, <laughs> yeah, PG. <laughs> So here are five more things that Snake, uh, that Stingy Snake planned to do with his money. Mm. Uh, one of them, buy local sports team, buy <laughs> other local sports team, make them compete, but not in the sport that you would think. <laughs> it's all about power for this guy. It's all about uh, power. Flex them a lot. Mm. Next one, eat money? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Um, okay. Next one, buy skis, buy snow, buy mountain, bring mountain to city, ski through town. Nice. Pretty reasonable. Classy, fun. It's a lot of Fourth one. weird steps in that one, okay. <laughs> buy portable air pump for doorway. Guards keep getting pancaked. This is a real problem. <laughs> <laughs> air pumps next to all the doors yeah fifth one put thousand dollar bill on end of fishing rod dangle fishing rod in front of frederick frogs reel it away steal frederick's door Ooh. 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 pretty sneaky pretty sneaky yeah. pretty sneaky pretty sneaky he may be a scoundrel wow. but he sure does know how to have a good time <laughs> that's a good time <laughs> all right so the three of you and the poochie pancake are now standing uh, in this uh, office, there's now a big hole in the floor, two knocked out guards underneath uh, a desk that has already left and blueprints that lead to a plant to a hold in the basement. What would you like to do? We have people... to go down. Oh, go ahead, Doofus. You are the No, leader. yeah, I, I absolutely concur. We must go down. I would like to take a quick peek around the room to see if that parachute made of money actually exists. Uh, if that you see is real, the... leave my paper. Oh, you see does, that there is a it. parachute that looks like it's made of money, but they are actually movie prop bills, uh, which in a cartoon world are already facsimile versions of what is already movie prop cartoon money. But mm. it's a whole big thing. Uh, and it says test parachute in big letters. Hmm. Test parachute is only going to have a comical effect, I think, in a cartoon universe. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but if we wanted to blow some holes and stuff going straight down, maybe we can oh, try Oh, I have it a wonderful idea. Pancake. We can put a pancake oh, yes. on a parachute. Doofus, I don't hmm. mean to impose my own idea in your already genius plan, no, please. but I could be a parachute. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> that is true. You're a little pancake. Poochie, any of us as cartoons could be parachutes, but I think we're beyond that, are we not? Uh, Poochie glances up at the skylight. You see a confused child's face for just a second, and you hear them very, just very muffled, <laughs> muffled saying, Mom, they said they were cartoons. What's going on? Of course. And then it disappears. And you can uh, see parachute is a great idea. You would make a wonderful parachute. Any of us would, and would be happy to make a wonderful parachute. All right. Where do you go? Uh, parachute Poochie. Parachute Poochie. <laughs> Poochie. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, just make a big old three meter hole in the ground down below us, next level down, and then, yep. and see if that goes into a yet another area. And if so, then yes, we will put your parachute down. All right. No, so you are currently on level three. You can jump down the existing hole that okay. has some pancaked vampire guards yeah. uh, and get down to level two. And if you would like to make another hole in the floor, you could probably get down at least one more level. Okay. Ideally, I would love to make a hole in level two right now and a hole in level one right now and really parachute. Oh, okay. You're going to do two holes and try and parachute through both of them. 
Yeah, right. that's two rolls, right? Make a hole, make a hole. Does that sound right? Yeah, I think you roll two individual 1d6 rolls. I'm going to do them both at once just to make sure, sure that I mess this up. These are two separate holes. Okay. Do you like frisbee hey. them down there? Like, Perfect. how yeah. do you throw these? Yeah, I, so, I very carefully just like oh, okay. dropping a pizza. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, we all do that. Just like when you just ever... carefully yeah. dropping a pizza. Oh, yeah. nobody's dropped. I'm the only guy who dropped a pizza. I mean, <laughs> I mean intentionally. With, with, that kind of, with that kind of intention, I'll be walking in and be like, all right, here we go. It's pizza. <laughs> it's a pizza. <laughs> um, so, like you're dropping a pair of pizzas, you make enough holes in the floor. In fact, there's the existing hole that goes down to level two. You drop a pizza whoop, through there. There's now a hole that goes down to level one. You drop your second hole whoop, through that, and you can see that underneath the ground floor, there is your holes now lead into a metallic uh, passageway that has been carved out of the rock beneath this uh, mansion. So you can parachute straight down. You pick up Poochie, give it a few flaps to get Poochie large enough to be a parachute. Like a pizza. Hold it above your head. And I suppose all three of you are jumping or the other two yeah. staying away. Yeah, we all, all right. hold hands. <laughs> you all hold hands, including Poochie, because that's how you hold onto the parachute. Yep. Uh, and or you fins in this case. Yeah, fins. Parachute down this series of three holes. And you land in an underground passage beneath Stingio Snake's Manor. Everyone can see me looking down to see where I've written Stingio Snake. <laughs> Even though it's in front of me, it's under my name, the Zoom chat, but still. This is. Uh, <laughs> all right. You are now all underneath uh, a, 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 the mansion. Do we want to hold on? What time is it? It's now one o'clock. Can we go well, an hour and a half? For you. Do you want to have a, do you want to have a quick break <laughs> and then come back? Yeah, yeah, we can take a good break yeah. here. Let's take Parachuting quick, Poochie let's take seems a like a good break. breaking point. <laughs> Get a drink. Will we land? Well, we already landed, I guess. Uh, could have been a cliff. You want to make a cliffhanger? Oh, wait, hold on, cliffhanger. So you're falling, and then you see, as you slowly parachute down, that beneath you, there is a pit of water with crocodiles in it going, Whoa. croc, 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 croc. But of course, you didn't roll the six, so there's a vent over them, so you know that you won't hit them. All right, Sweet. let's take a nice. quick break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and let's come back in like 15 minutes and we'll go and find a magical door sounds great all right let's everybody we'll see you in 15 minutes be right back <laughs> hey welcome back everybody we're playing gateways it's a game about using interdimensional portals to pull off a heist or in this case to find a door from the cartoon world into the real world we have a, a group of four cartoon people who are trying well they're not all people one of them's a dog one of them's a goldfish one of them's a animal of indiscriminate type and <laughs> one's a, a, a frog i guess allegedly uh, <laughs> allegedly <laughs> uh in the previous little part that we were just before the break uh they have used the magical holes that they keep throwing out of their pockets onto walls to break into stingy o snakes compound where he is hiding this door they've alerted all the guards to their present presence they've squashed a uh, vampire guard under a big statue of a lion they've also squashed poochie the running goldfish under a big statue of a lion uh and they have now discovered that the door itself is being kept in the center of an underground series of tunnels beneath the mansion doofus the dog made a bunch of uh, portals or holes in the ground throughout through the mansion and used Poochie's uh, flattened body as a parachute and all four of them have now landed in a metallic subterranean corridor and are trying to find their way to this central uh, room, this very normal room but it's definitely not a secret room uh, where they believe <laughs> the door is being held is there actual water down here? I know you there mentioned. Okay. The okay. four of you have landed in a yes, a metallic corridor that extends uh, in two directions down way off in front of you and way off behind you. Uh, it presumably would turn eventually based on the uh, blueprint notes that you found. Do you have the blueprints still with you? Can you follow oh, them yeah. around? I of would course. probably have like cut them like I would. Uh... You know how like waiters kind of like stab their, their receipts? So I stabbed those blueprints ah. on my horns to keep them safe. 
Are the horns new? Have you had the horns the whole time? Yes. The horns here before the break? I can't remember which year yes. went on in which order. <laughs> uh, They've been there. Okay, good. Uh, all right. So, uh, Ears has the blueprints stabbed onto their head. Uh, and uh, what, where, which way are you going to go? What are you going to do? What's your plan? I don't need to come up with a plan. I'm the game master. Make sure we don't you lose that fun things to do with nothing. money. That's now very important evidence. Hmm. Yes, you do have uh, Stingy o Snake's folder of things to do with money, which uh, is being read out gradually for every 50 bits cheered. And he's going to be mad when that he finds out that's gone. He had big plans. He can't remember it. That's why he wrote he it. He can't down. remember. He had very good plans in there. Mm -hmm. I just say we stay on our guard and go to the very normal room, as was yeah. written. Yep, yeah, the blueprints that... say very normal door, definitely not a secret. Yes. Um, don't you, why don't you lead the way in case there's anything not normal? I can't really walk. Um, <laughs> am, I still all, am I still all stretched out or have I Poochie, like... Poochie is still a little pancake, but is also, yes, now a very large pancake. Oh, okay, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm a parachute. I'm a loose parachute on the ground. You're a loose <laughs> parachute on the ground. Okay, oh. do the thing where like you pick up the cartoon and you shake it out until it pops back into like its shape like you're trying to like fluff out a, a pillowcase yeah uh Pucci is now stretched in multiple directions and still flat no oh, i thought that hmm. would work oh well i need some water <laughs> Pucci needs water water it was established that there are alligators beneath the grate and they were uh, in water. No, you see you see if you if you watch the recording i said that I we see. would take a break and then i talked about the alligators thus making them not canon. Okay, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> it was not established. It was hinted in a in a. But maybe you can find misleading water. way. Mm -hmm. Now the level three portal does that like stay both ways, or do I like throw somebody into a portal and then like there's no coming back unless they find their own <laughs> That's back. you know what? That's a hundred percent up to you when you make it. Very good. Uh, okay, so this is what I would like to do. I want to do something very cartoonish. Here, I've got ready. a very nice pool at my home, of course. So let me just try to whip this up here. Um, I want to try to make a two-way portal it's, from here to my pool back at my home. It's not a All pool right. of money, is it? Because I need water. Good oh. clarification. I do have both, but I also have a pool full of water, also a pool full of wine. Is it Ooh. properly pH balanced? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. So is uh, his you... is his portal gonna work or is he <laughs> roll three d six? We'll find my out. level three will. My level two is currently. The Wait, I thought it was level two and level three. Yeah. Is it my level two and my level three? No. Yeah, oh, tell level him. two or three. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that would have been funny. <laughs> ah, the escape. Yes, part. your level three portal Sorry. is going to go back to the into an armored car that is parked outside the building <laughs> well i'm maybe, out of ideas maybe you can just roll me up and pack me on your back doofus like a real parachute yes i will wear poochie around my shoulders like a stole <laughs> Perfect. wow you're looking fabulous thank you i i assume you're actually speaking to poochie and you're correct you're a very fine accessory poochie mm. All right, Poochie is on the shoulders of Doofus, uh, resting on the shoulders of Doofus. What a sentence. Uh, and, uh, and you are now in a passageway. You know that if you head down one direction, uh, it will be leading you to this secret passageway. So because you have the blueprints with you, you know which way is will lead you to your goal, if that is indeed your goal. Uh, and the other way, uh, you're not sure exactly what it leads to. There are a few rooms, but none of them are labeled the other way. Do I know? And nothing's Go ahead, Matt. I was just going to say, nothing's labeled room-wise uh, the way we want to go either, right? The one thing that is labeled is the, this is a secret room. Uh, okay. And then scratched out saying, this is not a secret room. Please do not look in here. Totally normal. Uh, that it. is the only labeled room, and you know which direction that would be. There, you okay. will pass other rooms on the way, none okay. of which are labeled. Do I know, with, with my previous employment history here at this place, if uh, Stingy O Snake has a pit of crocodiles or other uh, aquatic animals. Stingy <laughs> Snake has no pool of crocodiles, but what? does have a wonderful, large, ornamental fountain 
in the grand foyer of the mansion. So it would be above oh. you somewhere. Uh, it is shaped in Stingio Snake's image um, <laughs> and has little cherubim all around the sides, spitting water into the middle of the fountain. They're so... on one little leg and they're going, like that. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Um, Tiny bows. I hate to be an inconvenience, uh, but if we do want to find me water, then we could use the fountain in the main hall. But it's okay if I just need to stay a parachute forever. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. So they're a parachute forever. Doofus, are you prepared to carry them? <laughs> I feel a little bad. I mean, maybe we could try to help. Uh, let's get creative with our portals, except, of course, for I Frederick, say, who only has one portal option, generally speaking. I will say, you looked into, you could see through the main windows when you mm -hmm. first arrived and you didn't uh -huh. go into main, you could see the fountain there. So you could immediately level three portal there if you wanted to risk it. That is an option. That's not bad. I could also bring us back to the car. From the you car. Go, you can also go back to the car. <laughs> that is always Anybody an option. Anybody bring a bottle of water? Is there a bottle of water in the car? I'm an old warm bottle of water. Free we, can just, we can Sun extend warmed. Poochie out of the truck. She can ask Although the I will say, probably, probably technically, the hole in the bottom of the car is no longer there. So you would appear in that tiny <laughs> space between the car and the, you'd have to like come out like this. <laughs> I will say that's probably the case, but yeah. we'll get to that if it becomes an issue. All right, what well, are you going to do? You got plans? Okay. You got goals? You might want to go find a fountain. You might want to ignore Poochie's needs and go to the real world. Uh, we can, we can help Poochie out. Uh, uh, all right, I wanna, I'll, I'll set um, Poochie comfortably on the ground uh, next to a wall, and I could put a portal there, and then I'd like to try and put a portal... Somewhere where a little statue is spitting water out, like maybe where it hits ah. the water or a part of it. Do I remember the? So you don't have to go to through into the main room, but you can. Oh, yeah, you're just gonna shoot water. water through the portal. <laughs> Man, Doofus is so brilliant. Oh, All right, so smart. So, Doofus, you were trying to set up a level three portal to somewhere that you remember seeing before. Yes. Uh, now, happily, I will use my engineering skill to knock an, a, one one roll off of that. Brilliant. I believe you can do that twice per game. That's right. All right. So this is your first instance of using your talent yeah. to uh, bring this down to only 2d6. And it should go really well. Let's see. Okay. Oh. It's a two to one. <laughs> okay. So roll that d20 and let's see what wow. goes wrong with your Oh, gosh. And this is just going to hit Poochie, right? Just, uh, got to just to set up whatever fine. comes out. <laughs> Be... I'm folded up like a little blanket just in front of this portal. <laughs> Defenseless Poochie. All right, everybody. Okay. You bring so you put one portal next to Poochie. Yeah. And the other, uh, hoping to catch some liquid flying through uh <laughs> and landing on Poochie. Yep. Now luckily no one but the water is going into the portal, so it's all yeah, right. That's a good Except thing. you set up your portal. And no water comes out. What happened? You're sure it's in the right place, but there's no water coming through. Uh, now, how just how mean do I want to be? Do I make someone go through this portal? I mean, Poochie can, can I look through. Peer, yeah, can right? we? Can I just peer through the portal to see what's going on? Maybe I can reach yeah. through and unplug something if something's plugged up. <laughs> yeah, just right. a hand. <laughs> you you look through the portal and you can see the main foyer of no. this mansion. But it doesn't quite look how you remember it. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> let me just make sure. Da, 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 da. Yeah, cool. Uh, the, the, you can see the cherub statue that should have been spraying water, uh, but it's no longer spraying water. In fact, it looks different. It's covered in some old, some vines, and it looks like it's crumbling away a little bit. Mm. Uh, and so you lean through a little bit to, to see if you can see what's going on. Uh, and just for the fun of it, because we're on stream, <laughs> you stumble. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you fall through this portal, and you emerge. Not called doofus for no reason. <laughs> just as the portal closes behind you. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and you're standing in the foyer of uh, Stingy O Snake's mansion. Yeah. Uh, except the fountain is not functioning. And the stairs look a little bit kind of unkept. They're, they're, there's plants that are growing uh, all up the main stairway. Uh, you can see the windows are covered in grime and dust. And you look at a calendar on the wall that says Toon World, the year 2041. And you have arrived 20 years in the future, 20 years after whatever happened in your <laughs> friend's journey happened. And I guess uh, Stingy O Snake's entire mansion has been abandoned for those last 20 years. Wow. I have a clarifying wow. question. Mm. Please. Was I still folded up on the ground like a blanket or did Doofus You <laughs> were take folded me up with on the ground like a blanket. Okay. <laughs> Doofus is alone in the future. Oh, that would have been sweet though. Are confused oh. in the past with no water, no working legs. Now presumably a frog and a strange animal to help you. My my dear compatriots in the past don't have any reason to think that i'm 20 years in the future except maybe they caught a peak of a statue with some vines on it yes that's true <laughs> okay. okay oh no is this the time travel episode oh is it time for that already <laughs> i guess so so the three of you are back <laughs> in the year 2021 you are in your tunnel and you now do not know where doofus has gone However, anything you do will affect the future that Doofus lives in. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, Doofus is our leader. I'm sure he'll be back. I'm not worried. Whose portal is that? Doofus's? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Good He's comedy. never messed up. <laughs> well, I'm sure he'll be back. Hear footsteps clanging down the metallic co corridor coming from the, let's say, one direction is north. From the north, um, you know that south is where you want to go to get to your final goal. But from the north, you hear clanging footsteps as people are running down the <coughs> corridor. You can't see them yet, oh, but you yeah. can hear them. And you can hear some voices shouting in the distance going, oh, I think they ended up down here. Hey, everybody, come quick. Oh, yeah, let's get them. Oh, yeah, let's go and get these people. I gotta go and get them. Uh, et cetera, okay. et cetera. As a bunch of Tunish guards are running well, the vampire guards aren't chasing us anymore, and that's very good. All right. You guys, you'll chase them. I am here. I will be repressurizing myself. Oh, dear. Whoa. Oh, Please, somebody, I must suck your blood to inflate my body. <laughs> my gosh. That, now I'm worried. Is that what you need to do, Poochie? Get a uh, move no. Seems like he knows what he's talking no, about. No, that's just Vladimir. Ah. He's got a weird thing with that. Vladimir I just need be, water. Yeah. Okay. I suggest we run. Uh, okay. Can uh, someone else wear me like a scarf? Uh, you're a bit you? out of fashion for me, but I suppose. Ooh, Frederick wears you like a fashionable. cravat. <laughs> <laughs> you tie me in a little knot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the three of you are running down the corridor, heading south. Uh, now, as the general rule of this game, this problem won't go away until you solve it with Portal. But as for now, you are running down the corridor being chased by a, uh, a cohort of Toonish guards. Uh, uh, it's, it's like that episode of that old Looney Tunes episode where Daffy Duck is fighting all the villains from Dick Tracy. Uh, that's where you're at. Uh, you know, just that's just for me. Um, so you're heading down the corridor. Right, okay. uh, and uh, good, and uh, and it continues, and it makes a sharp turn to the right. And as you head down, you see there are a few doors uh, in the walls beside you. The corridor continues down, and you could follow it to your final goal. Uh, but the doors next to you, uh, one is labeled storage, one is labeled guard room D, and the other one is labeled kitchen. Here's I've got an idea. Now oh. that we don't have doofus, I suppose we have to start crowdsourcing those. But anyway, can you make a fake hole on one of these doors and maybe they'll think we went in there? Hoochie, were you inside my brain? Uh, get out no, of there. I'm, get, I'm, get on, out. I'm on Frederick still. 
Just in you case you were in places. there. Okay. All right, I'm is that the sorry. plan? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I've got just something I can do, right? Yep. You, with you, based on your coyote talent, you can at any point for free make any portal that is a fake portal but looks like it leads somewhere. Hell yeah! This one's going on uh, storage. All right, and it just it just looks like a fake door into the storage room. Yep. All right, but like an obviously fake door. <laughs> sure. Uh, so, and then the rest of them, were you going after that? Because if you stand next oh. to it, I don't think it's going to have a function. <laughs> Do you think the kitchen might have water? Oh, yeah, kitchens sometimes have water. Well, if it doesn't, I'm going to I know, relentlessly stingy. mock stingy he, for it. He liked to boil his frogs there. No offense, Frederick. He would do no such thing. Oh, sometimes he did. I want to throw frogs. a hole on the kitchen door. <laughs> All right. So real hole on the kitchen door. Roll a single yeah. die. Okay, here we go. It's a five. five. It's got a five. So a real hole appears on the kitchen doorway uh, and you can run, jump straight through it into the kitchen. As the hole closes behind you, you see that uh, Ears' uh, fake hole is on the door into the storage room. And as you are in the kitchen, you hear a clattering of guards as they arrive and say, they went in here! And then they go, boom, 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 as they all run <laughs> into the storeroom door and they break it open. And they're all in a big pile uh, on the ground going, oh, you gotta get off, man! You can't, can't, can't up! Oh, you get off, man! Like that. Uh, and you can hear that outside as you are in the kitchen. Meanwhile, 20 years in the future, <laughs> Doofus, you are standing in the foyer of uh, uh, snakes, abandoned mansion where do you yeah. go what do you do you've been uh, stranded. i'd like to uh i assume it's quiet it's just it peaceful quiet. it's a real juxtaposition to the craziness happening exactly. 20 years behind me i'd like to make my way back to where his office was i'm looking for his desk maybe a diary maybe a tattered old newspaper with some information about maybe what happened uh presumably he would have some record of this this must have been a a day of note you head life? back up the stairs mm. and arrive at the door to Stinty O Snake's abandoned office. And as you enter, you notice a few things. One, the office has nothing in it. There is not a single piece of furniture, not a single table. But worse than that, the walls themselves seem to have lost most of their definition. There's nothing that there's no, none of the wallpaper, none of the architecture. In fact, as you get here and look up at the skylight, you notice that the skylight has been removed. But you do see a few traces of the skylight, just the corner, existing by itself in space with the telltale signs of the smudges of a giant pencil eraser. Whoa. And that's when you notice... <laughs> just a pair of snaky legs because he did have legs he was an axolotl um a right. bit sitting discarded on the floor with the same signs of erasure oh, oh my just above the knee and how edible would you say these legs are not for now incredibly okay maybe for later <laughs> okay so that's a bummer but there's no Go ahead. No, no, please. So, I was going to say there's no signs of movement or, or it's still quiet. Nothing is coming at me. For a second, mm. out of the corner of your eye, mm. through the one window that remains on the otherwise erased wall, you think you catch a slight flicker of movement. Mm. But when you look, it's just a window to the outside. Meanwhile, back in the kitchen, 20 years in the past, uh, <laughs> there is a sink. You are happy. There is a working yeah. sink next to the little kitchenette side, the fridge. There's a kettle for boiling water, uh, an electric kettle like civilized people have. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, you, and you see a sink, and the sink uh, is perfectly functional. You can get as much water as you need to revivify Poochie, the running goldfish. 
Okay, he just got to hook me on there like a water balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Frederick, you got that? Stretch the mouth around the, <laughs> the tap. <laughs> Luckily, all the parachuting already stretched me out, so this should be fine. Stop easy, talking easy. for a moment. You're letting the water out. <laughs> you attach Poochie to the tap like a water balloon, and Poochie starts to fill with water and regain their original uh, uh, size. But then they keep filling with water. Wow. Having been stretched out like a parachute, Poochie, you now fill up to three times your previous size, and you are a giant goldfish. You stand nine feet tall, looming over ears and Frederick Frogs as you have been uh, filled up to the new limits of your stretched body. Frederick. You feel fine. You feel good. You feel better than you've ever felt before, Poochie. Did they always look like that? Yeah, that seems right, right? Poochie, you're looking great. That's um, quite dangerous. This is, uh, Poochie's not going to say anything. They look at themselves kind of shocked and uh, then, like, embarrassed because this is the Poochie problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But they don't want to tell anyone that. <laughs> oh, no, not again. I do say, Poochie, with your new stature of this size, the next time you run into a hallway full of guards, could you just yell at the word fishbowl and go rolling down the hall after? Reich. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I can work on the lines, but I think that would work. How about we try that? Maybe we can portal through this door and I can get a running go. Gonna well, look at the size of his folded pocket portal compared to Poochie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know Actually, Poochie has their own portal. I, here's what I want to do, Bill. Yeah. Yes, I want to put up, I want to throw a portal on the door or just on the wall, wherever in this room. Yep. And I want to throw a portal at like the end of the hallway. And I want to mm. run through and then like dive and roll. So I'm rolling down the hallway toward all those guards that got, that crashed into the door. All right. Now, there's one issue that I have. Okay. You can do that very easily based on the fact that you have been in the hallway before. So you can create a portal in this closed off kitchen room that you're in. That would be a level three portal mm -hmm. because you were trying to teleport to a place that you remember seeing but cannot currently see. Or you can try and open the door to have a look to secretly throw your portal out from where you are. But there are a lot of guards right outside the door. So it might be that this needs to be a level three portal. I, I was 100% thinking level three. Let's do it. Yeah. Go big or go home. Yeah. Let's see what happens. We're, we're, I know what time it is. We're getting to the end of the stream. We got to yeah. start pulling out the big guns. Let's go. 3D6. Okay. Just kind of click on all of them. I think this will work. Yeah. I got a Ooh, one, a one a three, a three, and a four. So okay. roll that D20. 20 years in the future is not that bad. <laughs> I just show up somewhere else. 18. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, you're going straight back to where you used to be oh All my right. gosh so uh, Poochie creates this lovely big portal that Poochie can fit through uh, right on the wall and you can see through the portal a pile of guards and a hallway that leads straight to where it is you want to go Poochie uh, dives, runs, rolls through the portal and takes everybody out as you end up crashing into the far side of the of the corridor you are ecstatic every guard has is now their own little pancake it's pancake central and all the guards are Good, flattened the beneath my factory. might i yell as i roll down it's the hallway the international hallway of pancakes and you <laughs> have squashed them all and frederick and is you're feeling great and you run after to continue this journey. You run through Poochie's portal. Uh, and I'm going to roll a quick little uh, D6 here. Just yeah. to see. <laughs> and as you do, uh, <laughs> this is even worse. Uh, Poochie, you hear a voice at the end of the corridor, right near your portal, that says something about help me, help what's going on. 
I'm just a small little cup now. I don't get it. Ears, you don't hear this because it's Frederick who's behind you and you continue running down the corridor. <laughs> Frederick, <laughs> as you go through this portal, but I won't say a cup, what do you turn into? You have to be, what, what small inanimate object have you come out of this portal as? Oh man. The first thing that's on his mind is money bags. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> Just a money bag? Yes. Uh, <laughs> revealing the true essence of his soul, Frederick Frogs appears from the portal as a small bag of, yeah, a large bag of money, uh, <laughs> flomping on the floor like some kind of Conker's Bad Fur Day character. Uh, <laughs> Poochie, you can see uh, that Frederick is just a bag on the floor, very much requesting help. Uh, on the front Frederick... of the bag, it's just like a frog face with like the dollar sign eyes like, drawn <laughs> there you on. Go. That's where he's talking from. Uh, so you can snatch him up and continue down the corridor to get to your final goal. Uh-oh. Uh, You're not really in fashion, but I'll carry you anyway. <laughs> what uh, happened? Gotcha. Uh, you know, what usually happens. You seem even Portal larger stuff. now somehow. <laughs> Maybe Doofus can fix it when he gets back from his time travel episode. <laughs> uh, like, we'll head down to the other, where we need to go. Uh, heading down the <laughs> corridor, and you find yourself eventually at a large door. Uh, not so large to you, Poochie, but to the other two. Oh, that's a big door. Uh, <laughs> it's large, it's metal, and it has one of those big old vault uh, Turny things. entrances. I mean, yeah, yeah, a big lovely wheel. Uh, you can see leading up to the door uh, some marks on the ground as if a rolly desk had somehow uh, scraped the floor as it entered the vault. Um, but the vault itself is closed uh, and you're not quite sure how to get it open. This is and my opportunity. You hear? I, I can't hear, but that's okay. And they're gonna throw a portal at the vault, right? Just a like That's, a just a hole. Yeah, we're just gonna get on through. Although right. I feel like it might have to be two so I can fit uh, Poochie. You can get through with one. It's all right. Poochie okay. Can squish. <laughs> Poochie is squishy. Some water just like squirts out of my mouth <laughs> as I squish through. All uh, right. Four. You throw your portal. It's a four. It's not. It's not a six. It's not a one. It works perfectly, and you now have a hole that goes three meters into this five meter vault door, and you <laughs> get no more in the room than you were a second ago. Oh! So while you try and solve this problem, Doofus, you are twenty years in the future. <laughs> you are in a semi-erased uh, old office uh, with some strange movement happening outside. What do you do, Doofus? Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Um. Hmm. All right, I'm quite curious about the strange movement outside, but I don't want to expose myself to the outside. So let me. Can I throw um a little portal on the f maybe on the floor and then on the wall by the window so I can look down through the portal and look out the hole and and see without being by the hole. Uh, Wait, I'm still by the hole. If you look in that hole, you see me. I might as well <laughs> look out the window. It's the same thing. So I'm rolling dice. Window, you'll be fine. Right, I'm going to peek out the window. Can I speak out the window? Am I allowed to? <laughs> Doofus, you look out the window. No. Yeah. And what you see shocks you to your Whoa. core. A fl high above the main city, which is below the hill that this mansion sure. is on, you see buildings. But mostly, you see the lower third of buildings Oof. flying above the, uh, the, the town. Reaching down from the heavens is a giant hand perfect photo reel and three-dimensional holding a large pencil turned uh, a razor side down as it hovers over the town and as you watch the clock tower in the middle of town the one that rang on the day that you were first born the one that, <laughs> that broke in that lightning storm 70 years ago mm -hmm, i suppose I 90 years ago now it was 90 yeah slowly disappears <laughs> from the top down as this pencil erases it getting rid of this person's life's work. Meanwhile, 20 years in the past, you're in front of a big door. Uh, what do you do? 
Wow, that didn't work. Somebody else want to throw a portal at it? I can't hey, quite bags. reach. I can't quite reach mine. Could you uh, help me there, Poochie? Oh, I imagine sure. I, have, I have tiny arms is what it says in the <laughs> description. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll fish, fish out the portal for uh, Frederick. <laughs> uh, you can get Frederick's portal and are you going to try and just double you. portal your way through? Right, let me toss it. Let me toss it. And I'll just, <laughs> little tiny limb, just toss it. Like a tiny pizza. <laughs> like a little tiny pizza. Yeah. All right, you throw another portal. You can roll your d6. Okay. Rolling a d6. That's another you got five. a five. A second portal appears, and with the two together, you've <laughs> cra crafted yourself a tunnel deep enough to get through this vault door. As That's you, math. You can now see through, and you see inside there are piles and piles of money reaching from floor to ceiling, surrounding, covering the walls of this large vault. And in the center of the vault, you see two things. You see a desk, a wheeled desk with a snaky axolotl man in a suit and top hat sitting behind said desk. Oh, and he's, you know what? Got an eye patch too. Uh, and behind him, you see Three doors. <laughs> Do, cartoon doors or realist, like realistic doors? You're not sure. And he's just they sitting look, there? They look as if they're all real doors. <laughs> but that doesn't make sense. There should only be one door into the real world. What happened? Oh, no. Um, can we conspire outside the holes really quick? Oh, mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Is Stingio sitting in there in the vault? Stingio is sitting in there looking at you, going, <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, no, Frederick is outraged. You yeah. ruffian, I've <laughs> discovered that you stole my door. This fortune was built off of my idea, and I'm going to start grabbing his money and just like stuffing it in my money bag head. So you've gone through into the into the main vault. You, you're not waiting outside to. to no, I'm uh, like throwing an outrage. Like hop tantrum. along. <laughs> you walk your tiny little legs. It takes you quite a while to get through this little tunnel into the main room. Uh, yeah. And you start reaching at the money and trying to put it into your head, uh, your money bag body. Uh, and Stingio Snake says, No, you fool, take as much money as you want. This is only my secondary money that I keep here for looks. My real money is in my proper vault. <laughs> you'll, think, you'll think the small amount could fit in your little body would bother me, Stingio Snake. I'm both old money and the mob. I well, of course this is just a secondary vault, but imagine. everyone still wants a secondary vault disrupted. It's still hurting you. Oh, did I say secondary vault? I meant this was my tertiary vault. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you ruffian. I think we should probably get in their ears. And I can't I... hear what they're saying, but I read maniacal <laughs> laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then I'll mime us two and then point in through the hole. Yeah. All right. The two of you uh, follow into the hole. And as now that all three of you are in there, Stingio Snake says, ha ha, yes. And now for the final phase of my dastardly plan. Here are three doors, only one of which is the real door into the world. Which door will you choose? Oh, door A, oh. door B, or door C? This is Stingio. You thought that one of those was the real door. And I want to pull out my once per game yeah. of the treasure. Yeah. <laughs> you fool, I have the real door right here. All right, Frederick Frogs <laughs> throws the real door. Uh, or pulls out his fake, his real fake door, uh, and he pulls it out, and you uh, assemble it on the wall. And uh, Stingio Snake looks at it and goes, "Wait, wait, what? What? Wait, oh, wait, what? Uh, uh, if that's the real door, then I'll be the one to escape into the real world." And he runs towards the real door, and he's about to reach the handle that doesn't actually work. <laughs> Is anybody going to do anything, or is he going to grab empty space? Oh. I want to throw my yeah. portal down that leads to outside. Yeah. <laughs> so throw your portal. Yeah. Roll 2d6. That's, That's a, a 4 and a 2. two. <laughs> as wow. The moment he reaches for the door, uh, a portal appears, and he stumbles through, and he appears on the other end, and the portal closes behind him, and he is now stuck under an armored car 
the, the bottom of which lost its portal long ago. So he's squeezed in between the ground and armored car. And you can hear <laughs> from the outside a, uh, a, a, a voice crying, uh, Help, somebody help me. I'm under a crap. You're dying, you idiots. Don't, don't drive the car. You'll run over me. Don't pull me out. Of, lift the, some, go get that big strong guy and lift the car. No, lift the car. Etc. Etc. Uh, <laughs> and now you are in a vault with three doors in front of you all of which look real but you know that only one could be the single real door into the real world meanwhile 20 years in the future <laughs> Rufus, you've just seen the town around you being gradually destroyed by a yeah. giant pencil erasing the buildings yeah what do you do okay uh doofus dog always an intellectual typecast into ridiculous roles over and over again has thought long and hard about what to do in this weird situation uh and he has come to a decision about this so he'd like to um okay the holes we made that go way go down two floors all the way down they're still there they caused enough structural instability that okay. all the all the buildings around them had collapsed. There are holes there, not the holes you made, but there okay. are. There's a, a there's a, big a hole deep. That you could take. I could throw a hole way down and fall into it, probably. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I want to um, do that. Pull a hole way down, and then pull a hole outside the building. Sure. So that I get some speed going Try down. To build and up some velocity. Yeah, shoot up out of that hole because I'm trying to get the attention of, of somebody. Sure. Are you okay. aiming for anything in particular? There is a hand that is out of the sky no. reaching down, or are you just trying to just shoot I'm up? I'm aiming to just be quite visible in the yeah. All right. And roll uh, uh 2d6. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my engineering thing and just make it one. Bring it down to one. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, this is not gonna work, but <laughs> Hey, okay. Got a four. You produce wow. a hole at the bottom of that large series of holes that you made 20 years ago today, back when you were a young dog. You're still a young dog because you traveled through the time. Um, yeah. There's now a hole at the bottom of that long shaft of, of, of holes from the top to the bottom. And another one appears outside so that when you jump down, you'll be shot directly up into the air. Yeah. You jump. A, yeah. So as Doofus Dog is flying through the air, he sighs inwardly and goes, Bohai! <laughs> and flies, flops goofily through the air and then flops onto the ground and bounces a couple of times. And then he gets up and goes, well, how the heck did that happen to me? And he starts goofing about like this because he's seen enough of his hometown destroyed by this strange eraser. And he won't allow any more. The fourth wall must be sealed. Is you the see thing? the hand holding the pencil <laughs> turns towards you. And then a second hand appears. And the pencil drops. And the hands go. <laughs> ah, love it. Ah, so good. Oh, wait a minute. What do you need? Hold on. And you see suddenly the pencil comes down. And around you is drawn a big uh marquee kind of banner and it says the doofus the dog show <laughs> and it appears as it's drawn above you uh and the hand comes down and it says hey that was pretty cool i like this new show maybe we'll finally get watches again after everybody disappeared through that portal into the real world our ratings were tanking i just thought you know i'd raise the town and anybody left in it but Doofus, you've shown me there's still love and entertainment in this world. <laughs> Tell me what you need and I'll draw it for you. But only if you continue to jape and jolly and dance so I can enjoy your frivolity forever. My first demand, restore the city to its previous glory. My of second course. demand, any residents that you have removed who did not want to be removed, Restore. Counter proposal. I mm. restore them, but they all have cool, silly hats. Counter proposal accepted. 
All right, my, let's go. My third and final demand, a rake on the ground. I like where this is going. Mm. I shall draw you, said rake. <laughs> the hand draws a rake on the ground. The prongs of the rake, of the, of the rake sticking upwards, mm. just begging to be stepped upon. Mm. Bleary eyed, doofus dog, uh, suddenly wearing a bathrobe, emerges from his home uh, to go get the newspaper from the end of his driveway. <laughs> he takes a few steps, stretches, yawns, takes one more step, and a rake hits him in his face. And he goes, Why? Wow, <laughs> my God. Oh boy. Just trying to get all my newspapers. <laughs> Meanwhile, 20 years in the past. Without their silly new hats, uh, <laughs> is a giant poochie and a small money bagged frog <laughs> stand in front of three doorways, one of which leads to the real world. The money bag we... frog is just crying. I don't have a tertiary vault. <laughs> we can get you one of those, it's okay. Um, is this the moment, the true test of our friendship, where we have to decide that we're not friends and we all take a different door? I have an idea. Oh, okay. I'm listening. Well, I don't know if we can permanently erase stuff here. Like, you know, the, you know. Don't speak of it out loud. Anyway. <laughs> so maybe if we try to destroy the doors we'll see which one is real we ah. probably can't destroy the real one because well you know why i don't want to <laughs> say real. it out loud <laughs> yes have you right. seen the thing <laughs> could, you, so, <laughs> could you portal it here so uh, the three of you, now, uh, that sounds like a plan to me. You're going to try yeah. and destroy these doors. How do you destroy the doors? Hmm. We have to solve it with a portal. You've got to yeah. solve your problems with portals. Well, the <laughs> statue worked pretty good. What do we have around us? Around money bags. You, money you bags. Bags full of money. You see the desk of... Uh, of stingy O snake yeah. uh, by the doors, uh, and that's all that's really available in this room. You do remember you've been through the kitchen, which had uh, an electric kettle and various other things like that. Uh, you had the main mansion room. Uh, there's a big armored car outside. There's a fountain with piles of water and other various things inside it because it's a fountain. Um, and hmm, on your blueprint, there's also uh, an unattainable room that has no uh, things leading to it uh, that seems to be beneath the storage room labeled fireworks. Because it's April Fool's. Somebody needs fireworks. Uh, well, we can either drop the car on it or if this pen didn't die on me, this would say fireworks. <laughs> I think we should honor the holiday and go get some fireworks. <laughs> yes, I think a celebration is in order. Fireworks. All right. Let's do this. You run back <laughs> to the storage room over the pile of, 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 of pancake guards and you get to the point where right below you is the fireworks room. But there's no passageway. There's no trapdoor. Time to put a hole in the ground. There's just <laughs> 2.9 meters of earth. Ooh. <laughs> Poochie will throw a hole down. Poochie drops oh. a hole. Roll, roll 1d6. Yeah. A two. a two. A hole opens up and you see a room full of fireworks. Just, just packed to the brim. You could just scoop them up from the top and have a handful of fireworks if you need it. <laughs> Poochie's probably tall enough too that they can hand it back up through the hole. Yeah. All you right. Have fireworks. What would you like to do? Go back to the room. <laughs> you head back to the vault. 
fireworks in hand and set them Wait, off. Do we or... have them? Um, do we have? Oh, hang on. No, let's go to the kitchen. Uh huh. And then with the electric kettle, we can <laughs> set them off and send them through a portal. So then, if they explode, we don't get exploded too. Pretty good. Sounds like science. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All I right. I think so Doofus would like this plan. One more I guess portal? he he rubbed off on me while I was on his shoulders. <laughs> I'd be so proud. All right. So do you need one more portal at least from here into the vault room? Yeah, that's a three. That's a level that's three a level portal. Level three. Okay. I'll. I guess Who I'll wants do to one. Roll it? I I haven't used my double agent thing yet. So if true. All right. If it least. goes wrong, then we can use that. Okay. I I guess I can roll it. Yeah. Roll it. Cool All right. Oh no! Oh <laughs> yeah, two ones. <laughs> now we don't. <laughs> technically, we don't need to roll it twice. Let's roll the D, the, the D twenty and see. Okay. What okay. D twenty. A nineteen. <laughs> you have to read the words that it says. Under you the are room. a baby Man. now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a baby. You're like so. You're still like filled with water, but you're just like baby size now. Well, yeah, is I this guess a huge baby. Would, would this happen after I walk through? So it's like, do we send the fireworks through, and then we're like, the it fireworks. <laughs> the fireworks go through. They they go through one portal yeah. <laughs> into the main room. They explode. You burn up everything in the room. Two fake doors catch fire and they burn. The t the desk uh, that that uh, Stingio was sitting by burns up in the fire the piece of paper on stingio snake's desk that said monty hall problem in big letters then a picture of three <laughs> doors and a label saying door c is the real door don't tell them burns up in the fire as the doors a and b all of the uh money on the shelves burns and after the flames settle the three of you decide this is it we can step through get into the real door and make our way to the future and you do is you step through <laughs> Frederick, you step through Poochie, you step through my cradling baby Poochie now as we step well, through. Or are we all, all babies? As no. each of you steps through, mm. Ears steps into the portal, and out of the portal comes a little baby. <laughs> a little baby. <laughs> but not a baby ears, a real three-dimensional human baby as frederick oh. frog steps through as a money bag he comes out as a real three-dimensional human baby as does poochie <laughs> and as the three real three-dimensional human babies crawl through the doorway into the real world they open their eyes a new set of triplets at the local hospital. And that, everybody, Woof. is how babies <laughs> are made. Whoa. <laughs> you live your life, you grow up, you enjoy your time. There is a while where you notice that as a kid, your parents always talked about how good Saturday morning cartoons were. But for you, there's just nothing on. It looks like a sort of boring empty landscape no one really watches cartoons anymore because nothing is happening on tv they don't even seem to be characters lots of new babies but not many cartoon characters until one day no as you're part way through your bachelor's degree at the ripe <laughs> age of 20 years old you turn on the tv and you see what feels like a familiar looking face a dumb doofus of a dog Stepping on a rake and hitting himself in the face. And that's Gateways, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what wow. a backstory. Oh, that, that was so fun. Oh my goodness. Oh man. So there you are, everybody. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, this first ever televised game <laughs> of Gateways. Uh, uh. But yep, there it is. That's how babies are made. I hope you all learned something today. Uh, and uh, yeah, how how did you all enjoy that? Uh, did, did, let's let's talk about nice things about me, and everyone can say what they enjoyed the most from that game of gateways. Uh, any shining moments? I love uh, the rollable tables. Yeah, love them. <laughs> I always forget that I like rollable tables, but it's just it's so easy, <laughs> and I love when things go wrong. And you made it a lot of fun. 
Yeah, at some point I realized the more portals we make, the more terrible things happen yes. and the more fun you have. And that's that's we should that's be part of the joy. Portals. Yeah, exactly. It's very free. It lets you do what you want, but the more extended you want to do with what you want, the more chances for chaos. And that's very cool. Well, in the end, you trapped an axolotl under a car, traveled yep. to the future to sacrifice yourself for the whole Toon world. Mm. And uh, Doofus is the real hero here. Doofus is the really. real hero. And I found the backstory for an NXT TRPG character, yeah. Riblet, who doesn't remember where they came from. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, great. well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you all for joining me to play. It was, it was good and silly and ridiculous, exactly how the game should be. Uh, for people at home, if you liked it, you want to play it yourself, uh, you can get it on itch. In fact, hold on. Boop. Yeah, did you get that link there you ready? Go. You can go to consume Ooh. this media. Uh, itch.io. Can uh, we'll have to send it to Katie. Um I've or put it in the chat. Oh, I mean it doesn't appear in chat because because oh, no. mod but yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll get it in chat though. Send send it <laughs> get to that in chat. put it it's in Discord. Just... All right, here I will. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the wrong place. Uh, wait. <laughs> this channel. Here well, we go. I, I You're sending you it through I portals. It. Oh, there it is. Is. Okay. Okay. there it is. I got it. Uh, so you can go there. Uh, and you can grab this game. Uh, it is pay what you want, so you can pay zero dollars, or you can pay a hundred and eighty dollars. Boom, a hundred and eighty. Um, <laughs> but it's great fun. Uh, and it's like, there's another game uh, that I have there as well uh, called The Hunted, uh, which is about going to a you you create a small fantasy town out of a deck of cards uh, with different Ooh. numbers of piles of cards representing different buildings in town. And then the players go through and try and figure out which of the townsfolk are secretly evil demons and purge the town of demons. Ooh. It's a much more complicated game, but it's a good piece <laughs> of fun anyway. Uh, and you can get that as well for whatever price you want to pay. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And thank you, everybody, for playing. That was great fun. Yes, indeed. And thanks for on that on our channel, Bill. I appreciate it. It's very fun. Uh, we will have Fall of Plague Stone again next week. We'll be continuing nice. with Bill. So if you guys want to see more of him, he'll be here around for that until we finish that. And then we've got Fabletop Treasure Hunters starting uh, in just a few weeks. Our season mm. three is going to start. And you guys can catch Bill and Tori on that. So uh, yeah, thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, before we wrap up, let's talk about our wonderful cast one more time. Bill, you just told us about your game. Tell us about you. Uh, yep, I'm, my name is Bill, and you can also find me doing other stuff uh, as as Escape This Podcast, where we make new uh, tabletop role-playing style escape rooms, uh, and we have guests come on and play them. There's an episode with Matt Yule. There's an episode with me. You can watch, you can listen to either of those. Uh, I keep asking Tori, and she says no. She says, I hate puzzles. I don't ah. want to be on your show. You're terrible. You know, what can I do? Um, Sounds like Tori. <laughs> and we also, uh, I, also I will not called, stand for this blasphemy. <laughs> I also make a show called Solve This Murder, where I try and solve murder mysteries that my partner creates. It is very difficult, but we have a new one coming out very soon. Um, I think ideally next week. Uh, and so, well, it depends on how fast I can get the editing done, but it should be a lot of fun. Uh, so you can join us for that, uh, which, uh, yeah, should be very, very fun. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Bill. Uh, B, tell us about you. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I tried to play ears. I am truly a B of many props. You can find me on Twitter is at B underscore Zelda. I am a podcaster, a member of the Broadswords E5E D&D podcast. I host Anime Attaché, where I teach two newbies all about season one of My Hero Academia, as well as I am a cast in Power Play, an RPG where we are superheroes. I stream a butt ton all the time. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be running Indie, sh uh, not Indie Showcase. Tomorrow I'm going to be running uh, Thirsty Sword Lesbians on the Roll20 channel. So if you are thirsty, are lesbian, and have swords in no particular order, come join. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Sounds fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, B. Thank you for uh, having Matt, me. Matt, tell us about you. Uh, so my name is Matt Yule. My brother's name is Chris Yule, except my name will be Doofus tomorrow to everybody I'm in a Zoom meeting with, which will be terrific at work. <laughs> yeah. uh, we do a podcast called Finish It, where we uh, read interactive fiction over and over until we go crazy and read every single page, get every single ending and leave nothing unturned. 
uh then you can find that at finishitpod.com you we're on twitter at finish it pod you can find us at those places and it, it's fine it's great wonderful yeah it's great and thank you for joining us tonight as well matt wonderful to have new friendly faces on the stream appreciate you guys joining us tonight bill thanks for running again Tori, is there anything else i forgot to talk about besides plague stone treasure hunters we got frost geeks of course next monday starting back up uh anything else i'm forgetting about no i think you covered it cool me and tori are part of level one geek along with some other amazing folks so that's us and we will call that a stream for tonight guys uh if you like what we do and you want to see more please follow or subscribe on twitch youtube or social media and join us over on discord uh, we've got a pretty fun Discord. That's where we can really talk to you guys the most, interact with you. We talk about food. We share memes. We do community games sometimes, and we just uh, we hang out. It's really fun. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in getting cool stuff from Die Hard Dice or our, any of our other affiliate partners, you'll find our monthly discount code as well as our Patreon link in the discount sections below. So people are playing in person again. You know, Got to go get those new pretty dice to celebrate. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for your support, everybody. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We appreciate you guys supporting. Helps us do what we love doing. So thank you so much. Now, go take a long rest. Do not step through any unknown portals as they may turn you into a baby or a money bag or a pancake. A baby money bag. You never know. A baby <laughs> money bag. <even. laughs> and we'll catch you guys next time. Good night, everybody.